Right. Who's on foremost we can vote prison say a hour by Sham Sham Rakha Kodash, the one that's all fucked and our LS salutation to the brothers that teach and preach the good and sincerity and in truth. This is GMS Trend that camp alongside GMS Barbados, um, Brother Kosha, right? Shalom. I'm Brother Bara, but um, Yahawada, um, Big Brother Makaza, right? I'm Brother Kosha. God, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Right, so uh, today we're going to address some a comment board question, right? But this comment board question is going to be addressed for the edification of Israel. Not for the score first, right? So we have we have to come to content for our faith and to defend the doctrine of the truth. Right? So we gonna we gonna edify those who are interested in being be edifying and the ones who are who are interested in being score first, thank you. You just fulfilling your role and letting us know that we are the trees that bear good fruit, right? Because the scripture says you shall know them by the fruit. Right? So so water for that. Right? So shit page and you'll see. All right, so this video, this video was from um, the brothers of the LA GMS. We hope I come quickly, right? But a polite knows he is going to die, right? So polite was being polite, right? So the comment came in. The comment came in from this guy, Mr. Punch, thirty six, right? Um, when they go, Mr. Punch is um. Page, which we will do for real quick. He has no videos. He has 16 subscribers, right? He has no videos. He has no play, nothing, right? So it's, you know that this this person here is just a straight scoffer, right? So we'll go back to. Let's go back to his question. So this, this this video is only being done for edification sake. And we don't have time to waste on score for this, right? What? It's Proverbs 26 verse 4. It says, Answer not a fool according to his folly. Huh. Lest thou be also like unto him. Huh. Yeah. So we're not done, we're not done for the folly. But we're done for the edification because it's a, it's a, the second question that he asked was a good question, which which could be answered through the scriptures, right? The first question he asked was a question that um uh, that was just plain foolish. So I I actually um I replied I replied with a uh, foolish and unknown questions, right? So this is this was it. Right? GMS answer all questions. Okay, what disciple? taught repentance to Israel in America. So this was a foolish question, right? To which I answered, um, 2 Timothy 22 and 23, what foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that there's gender strife. Because this is all this, this, this guy is all about, this man or woman is all about strife and contention, right? But we are about edification. So the second question now, and why in the book of, of Ezra chapter 10, did they put away the children with the strange wives if you are an Israelite when you are mixed breed, right? So he came, he said what, and this is not a, this is not foolish and an unknown question. It is a contradiction to your doctrine plus you said you'll answer all questions. That was a lie, right? Um, these are, yeah, yeah, John 14, that was a uh, other, other comments that he video I was uh, putting up, right? So we are about to deal with, right? We are about to deal with uh, the foolish and unknown question. Or the question, we go about to deal with the um, comment on um, Salak, uh, or Ezra 10. Why, why did we put away the wives? The first scripture I wanted to bring out was uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Right? So 
First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. It says, For the Most High is not an author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Right? So it's not a contradiction. Right? Because the Most High would have blinded you. Or for Mr. Punch, 36, or whatever. The Most High would have blinded him, but it's not a contradiction, it's not confusion. Right? I know, Marcus, that you had some stuff that you want, you, you, was, you was bringing out. John, yeah, because yes. basically what he was saying that we say in one the one compromise is light, you are saying the light. Yeah. All right? So if you were saying that the scripture is saying that it's put away with the children, they would not fall with the child. The child, once they come from an Israelite man, would have been an Israelite. All right? They would have fought with the wife and if, you know, the daughter. Let me read it. Um, so it's making my... Nehemiah chapter 10, verse... I'm get it really quick. No, Nehemiah 10, I'm not too keen, but... Nehemiah 10, verse... Um, when it says, In those days, all the world took pity, that my wife was among the world. The children half in the speech of Asher, and from not speaking the Jews language according to the language of each people. And I contended with them and cursed them and smote children of them and struck all their hair. And, yeah. and we swear by the power, saying, You shall not give your daughter unto their sons, nor take their daughter unto your sons, or for yourself. So only men was doing the mar- marrying, the, the women was also doing the marrying. So Israelite woman would have gone and married a heathen and drawn forth a heathen son. This, then guess what? The son is not Israelite. It would have been the son of that heathen. So they put away the, the woman's son. The man's son came some point with um with with root. Root is if it's mother. Yeah. So and yeah. the an Israelite. Um um Roger, um Rohoboam. Rohoboam, his brother was an Ammonite, but he was still an Israelite. All right? Yes. He was still an Israelite. So that they would have put away the seed of the woman, not the seed of the man, because the seed of the man would have been an Israelite seed. All right? Yes. Are, the, um, are the, the law in Deuteronomy? This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1, chapter 1. When Yahweh thy power shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and had cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gergeshites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater than greater and mightier than thou, and when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Right? It says, Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters, thou shalt not give them unto, unto his sons, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Right? For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. So, Going back to going back to um, if we go back to the law, because the question the question he asked was so if there was a mixed breed or a mixed seed, right? Let's get real quick. Uh, what he's saying is that if the question was uh, why in the book of, of Ezra ten did they put away the children which with the strange wives if you are an Israelite when you are a mixed breed? So you're trying this. So what he's trying to say is that all right, yes, the seed gonna be. The seed gonna be an Israelite seed according to our doctrine, right? Which is true, right? Because uh, an apple tree can't bring forth a grape, and a grape tree can't bring forth a pear, right? So the son or the daughter is what the father is, right? But what the Lord said in the law, or the provision in the law, was that you have to uh, not 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 to lay with these women because they're gonna cause their children to go off. They will cause them to serve strange gods, and I will put 
that will make Yahweh Hashem Yahushai um, the racist indignation against us. So that is why that is why they will they will they will put out or put away, right? So that plain that that scripture right there plainly answers the question. But I know we have more precepts. Anybody anybody else have something else? Ah, uh, with the precepts, say yeah. um, the precept and um, then it's um, I think what's it? I mean, I think it's either Kings or Chronicles when. And the Israelite told me that they bring forth the seed for what I think was the Hamite. And he did cause the Mosai and the Mosai tell the uh, Israelite bring out to the camp and kill him. That was in the wilderness. Yeah, in nice numbers. Numbers? What is it? You can find it? In nice um, numbers. When they're looking for it, I will bring, bring forth one. On, um, you have something on Kosha? No, no, I, I, I just hear listening carefully first. All right. But you can bring this. Bring um, Ezra chapter 9, Satan 2. Alright, hold on a minute. Satan 1, one and 2. Ezra chapter 9, Ezra in the Bible. 1 and 2. Yeah, Ezra 9 and 1. Now, when these things were done, the princes came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites. The Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mixed themselves with the people of those lands. You see, the they holy the seed. Of the, is, so like, yeah, the holy seed yeah. have mixed themselves with the people of the lands. But what we, what we just read in Deuteronomy is that the. Um, we're not supposed to take them and we're not supposed to mix and mingle. So let's go on just real quick. This is our... So, 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 so in other words... Back here? Right, so in other words, the, the break, the break, the break one of the laws that the Lord set. Yeah, they, they broke one of the laws. Right, so this right. is Deuteronomy right. chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy right. people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people who are upon the face of the earth. Right? So when you look at the word holy, it means to be separate. Right? So we're supposed to be separate from the Hamites, separate and we went through the, the Hamitic tribe. And when literally in Ezra 10, the scripture that he's speaking about, all the tribes that the Lord said not to be not to not to be with the Hittites, the Hittites, the Gurgashites, all that was in, in um, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. Right, these, these were the tribes that 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 they literally went and transgressed the law. So the Lord, the Lord knew that we was going to go off, you know, and we went off just by the way He said not to. We went off, right? Uh, Marcus, are you ready? Yeah. This is um actually Leviticus. This is Leviticus twenty-four, verse ten. It says, and the son of an Israelitish woman whose father was an Egyptian, yeah. went out among the children of Israel, and this and this son of the Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. The is and the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of Yahweh and cursed, and they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was Shilomit, the daughter of Debri. Of the tribe of Dan, and they put him in ward that the mind of Yahweh might be shewed, uh, might be shewed them. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that had cursed with all the camp, and let all that could um, hurt him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever cursed his God shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemed the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation of Israel shall surely stone him, as well as the stranger, as he that is born in the land. When he blasphemed the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, he shall be put to death. Ah, he shall be put to death. But um, the other point to make um, the order. Yeah. No, that's sure that there was a. Uh... There was there was a, there was a uh 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 that was a Hamite that was that was an Israelite. That was a Hamite. Uh, that 
That was a Hamite because the father was an Egyptian. Got it. Um, question. Um, I have something here for you. Okay. This is Tobit chapter 4, verse 15. It says, Beware of all whoredom, my son, and okay. chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that even um, that they all married wives of their own kindred and were blessed in their children and their seed shall inherit the land. So it's showing that we supposed to we supposed to marry women of our own nation. All right, but with, with the case with with um, with Ezra and Nehemiah, the Levites, the Levites have a specific law. They are supposed to only marry within Israel. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is why he said the Levites they profane the law. All right, and I have something here I just want to bring out. What is the word? Is the word mongrel? All right, uh, when you when uh, look at the, uh, um, the word mongrel, right? You can, yeah. you can, all right, I'm gonna bring a script. All right, you bring it down, I'll bring a piece up right after. All right, go on. yeah, come bring it out. Yeah, go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead. All right, there's the etymology of the word mongrel, it says a mixed breed dog. From obsolete Hmong mixture from old English G Hmong mingling based from among from proto Germanic Manjan to knit together source of mingle from the nasalized nasalized form of pie root mag to need fashion it with progerative suffix rel meaning person not of a pure race. Huh. All right, so you're not supposed to mingle the seed. You're supposed to keep your seed with. Um, that, that way, the scripture said in the division of the nations, the, the most I divided the nations. Huh. All right, so that they will be separate. You put all the nations according to tribes, according to their own stock. Huh. So you're not supposed to mingle. Mingling actually it breaks down the breaks down the um the seed. Huh. Okay, some point. Let's say. Israel was a people that was seven feet tall. All right? And Moab is a people that four feet tall. Huh. And then you go mingling with Moab, then guess what? The seed of Israel is going to start to get shorter and shorter over time. Because genes, all these different things. Huh. All right. Um, this, is, this is Ezra chapter 9, right? With Seven. Since the days of our, it says, since the days of our fathers, have we been in great trespasses, unto this day, and for our iniquity, iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the king of the lands, to the sword, to the captivity, and to the spoil, and to the confusion of face, as it is this day, right? So I want to look up that word confusion of face. Right? I'll bring it all to you. As he was bringing out mongrel, right? Turn. When you look at the word confusion, our face. The Hebrew word here is what? What? Boshet. It means a shape, a shameful thing. So a mongrel, we in the Caribbean call a mongrel or a, 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 a dogla, a sweet dogla. But dogla is actually a shameful thing. I think the word right? dogla means bastard. Huh. You understand? So look what it says. 
a shame of them with the addition of, and I give the scriptures, and look, look at key scripture here, Daniel 9, verse 7 and 8, right? But we'll come, we'll come back to that scripture after. Ignominy, a violent ignominious condition, right? In nakedness and shame, right? Nakedness is without knowledge, right? Idol, which, which deceives the hope of worshippers and puts them to a shame. Right? Yeah, I've um, you look up the word Dogla in Hindi, right? Yeah. It says Dogla is a slow meaning bastard or mutt. Uh. It says it has origins in Bhojpuri, the dialect of Hindi spoken by the majority of Indians who migrated as indentured laborers in the 19th and early 20th century. Can. The word so, actually means bastard or mutt. Bastard mutt. Oh, oh, yeah. Confusion, shame. Because look what it says. Going into the root, it says, for emphasis, confusion, delayed, long, shame. To feel shame to be ashamed. Right? So, them, so mixed breeds are shame unto the nation of Israel. Alright? So then we go to the scripture, Daniel 9, which is quoted. Daniel 9, it gets to 7. All, o Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us is what confusion of faces, as it is this day to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to, unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, though sorry, through all the countries whether thou hast driven them because of their trespasses that they have trespassed against thee. Right? So we I mean we end up in all these strange lands in Zamingo with all these people and then we have we have sex and make marriages with them and we confuse the, the, the race or we bring a shame onto our on onto on, on, on our nation. Right? Um. Yeah. And look, jumping on to verse 11, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. And this is one of the ways that we transgress the law, right? Even by departing that they might not obey thy voice, right? Because the law was not to what? Lay with, its do with, the, with, the, with the daughters of these other nations. And especially the, if you watch it, is it, is it, is it the children of Ham, right? Because these are the grandchildren or great-grandchildren of Ham, right? Who look like us. What, that is why we have plenty of, 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 of our people going off too. Be it um, Ethiopian Orthodox, being Baptist, spiritual Baptist, Horatian Baptist, all them things is witchcraft too, because they take up the ham, hermetic tri um, traits, right? Which the Lord said not to do, right? Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the, la in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. So you see, everything falls into place in terms of understanding. Right? Why, why there are confusion of faces? Why are you not supposed to do it? Because what you bring shame onto the nation, it brings shame onto the 12 tribes. Right? So I wanted to bring this scripture. This is Exodus 33, 34. The last year. Exodus chapter 34. Right? And I thought that was 11. Right? Observe thou that which I command thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite and the Canaanite, the Hittite and the Perizzite, and the Hivite and the Jebusite. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. So when I am in, in um. Ezra chapter 10, right? Um, verse 2, they, they made a, um, they took, took uh, the strange wives or the people of the land and uh, they, 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 they married them. And well, I think when they go into the marriage, 
um, one of the things is covenant and, and business and barter and trade and all these different things because they become your family, so they become part of your empire then as they say. Right? So then what they did, right? And if you watch, it's the same tribes. It's the same tribes are the, uh, 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 the Hamites, right? Verse 13. But he shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves, right? For thou shalt worship no other God before Yahweh, whose name is jealous, is a, whose name is jealous, is a jealous power, right? Verse 15, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods. Who's going to go a whoring after their gods? Israel is going to go a whoring after their gods. And the scripture that we read earlier on, I think it was in uh, Nehemiah or whatever, it says uh, that the wives would not teach um, uh, Shalom Akim on the common board. The wives will not teach the children, right? The way of the, way, the ways of righteousness of Yahweh, but Shimia Oshai, right? It says, Let's not make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go whoring after their gods, and do sacrifices unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. Verse 16, thou, and thou take of their daughters unto thy sons. And their daughters are go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons to go a whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no more than gods. Right? I could stop right there. Right? So we, we wasn't supposed to, to 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 lay with these women because the Lord commanded it so. Right? Even though that the seed that come out of it, when we broke the law, the transgression, that made the curse pour upon us. So we are cursed for doing this. So it's not a contradiction. Going back to the to, to the comment, right? Because the comment said what? Uh, that is not a foolish and unknown question. It's a contradiction to your doctrine. Plus, you all said you will answer all questions. It's not a contradiction, right? Is that we were we were in transgression of the law, so the Most High brought punishment unto us, right? And in Ezra ten, in Ezra ten, when we are. Well, I'll have to read it. I'll have to get into Ezra 10 a little bit. But you okay uh, Anybody who have anything to bring out to bring it up? Yeah. Quasha, have anything? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Go ahead, uh. Yeah, this is, um... What's Ezra chapter 8, verse, um... 69. He said, The nation of Israel, the prince and the priest and the Levite, have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor he said, nor the pollution of the Gentile, or wit of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Parasite, the Judasite, and the Moabite, the Egyptian, and the Edomite. For both they and their sons have married with the daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with strange people, and the land. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partaker of this iniquity. Can yeah, we partake of the iniquity because we mix the seed. To mix as 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 Makaza brought out, to make a mongrel or a bastard, which is a shame unto the nation. Right. So if I go back to, um, I think it was um. As a nine verse two, and we look up the word. Uh, I think there's the word mingle. There's the word ming mingle inside there. It goes back to the same thing, mixing the seed and bringing shame. Right? That's something here. Yeah. Go ahead. It is um, Galatians chapter four verse two. Three. It says, nevertheless, what state the scripture cast out the bond woman and her son. For the son of the born woman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. Yes, so that you're not supposed to be mingling the seed. Now, in the, in the law in Deuteronomy 21, I believe it's 21, it says that, you know, when they go to war and they see a woman there, like you could take her to wife. But we're not supposed to be going and, you know, spreading our seed among them. They're just supposed to be just a bed wench. You know, huh. something just a party time. Huh. Are we just supposed to mingle the seed? Right? Yeah. Ask something else here for you. This is um, 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, 
women of, of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonites, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in unto them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. And when he had um, 700 wives, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's power, as was the heart of his father, of David his father. So he's showing you when you're, when you're you know, making marriages with these other nations, what could happen? They call that is what the most I want about your heart, you're gonna go after them, all right? And you're gonna start worshiping the gods. So that's why the Lord explicitly said, Don't, don't, you know, don't deal with these nations. Come, come. I have, um, yeah, um, all right, go ahead, huh? yeah, um, this is what he just said there, um, we've got, we've got. Uh, trouble with our own women um, <laughs> serving the more so you know all women is a stumbling block they serve the most so how much more these are the nations these are the Fine. nations women you understand um, I got a quick scripture here um, Psalms 106 uh, verse um, 33 it says because they provoke his spirit so that he spit on a voice leave with his lips they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. So, that's what the brothers was going into. We, when we get amongst the heathen, we, we, we made contracts with them which we shouldn't have done. You know what I mean? And uh, we learned their works. We served their idols. That's how King Solomon sinned when he started to build strange um, gods to these, to these women, these, these, to these women they're, they're, they're his um, concubines. And we started to go off. You see, when the Lord specifically told us to make no marriages or covenant with the heathen. You see? Uh. That, that's all you have. Done. I have, uh, you have something. Anybody else have something before I go? Uh, yeah, I have something. Some I'll come after you. I have something. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go after you. All right. This is, um. Uh, I can read verse 39. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the same chapter sounds 106, verse 39. It says, that's where they defiled with their own work. So from the time we, 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 we um, took on that wicked, so from the time we brought the commandments in the Mosai, we became defiled again after these um, other nations' women and marrying them and making a covenant with them, right? Therefore was the, um, I mean, a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance so they came the time where the Lord turned his back on us because of what we did but because of his mercy you know, he's bringing back the house of David together and that's what these people in the world don't understand that's the mercy and the compassion from our Lord and Master Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai go ahead Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai yeah um, it's down the Amaya 13 and 25 here and I content and I content with them and curse them, and smooth certain of them, and pluck off the hair, and made them stray by the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, saying, He shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your son for yourself. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Ah. Yet among many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his, of his power, Yahweh, and the power made made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women outlandish. cause him, outlandish. Uh, to, to outlandish women cause him to sin. And when you go into the word outlandish, mean we're a foreign woman or an alien, which you know, which is of another which is of another nation. Um yeah, come on, come on. I can bring an precept yeah. before you go, Marcus, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to share the phone and walk up. I want to go into the wood. I'm going to share the screen select. I want to go into the wood. Come This is um 
Judges chapter 14, there's with Samson. Judges chapter 14, verse um, I saw verse 1. And Samson went down to Timnah and saw a woman of Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman of Timnah of the daughters of Philistine. Now therefore get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren or among all my people? that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleased me well. You understand? So even the father's like, Nah, it have women in Israel. Why you want to go into these other nations? Uh. You understand? Keep the seed, keep the seed within, within, um, within your household. Uh. All right? So I want more to bring. Uh, go ahead. Go. This is... um. That's not bad, my second. Um, talk for me. I'm just looking for some here. Go, go ahead, um, yeah, what up? I, oh, push, yeah. I, can see, I can see something in a minute. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the scripture the brother just read there, Judges 14. And it says, verse 3, and it says, And Samson said unto his father, Get her to me, for she pleases me well. So Samson was rebellious against his father. She, holy, holy woman, look, please him. It didn't please the heavenly father. He, 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 um, he forsook the commandment right there. Then his father reminded him, Remember, we ain't supposed to do that. You know what I mean, but he said, It pleased me. That way, the, I read the scripture earlier. Um, they, 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 they went out to their own invention, man. You say, they, Israel, Israel is always a rebellious people, be always hard headed. So, uh, what, 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 what Samson did was he, he, for such a commandment, I went after um, the, the, the heathen woman. I forget her name. Like right? Go ahead. So like, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Funny enough, I watched the movie. Samson, the movie. I think it was Saturday. Go on. Yeah, and they did the picket in the movie. Go ahead, Makaza. It says, right. Ecclesiastes 26, verse 19. It says, My son, keep the flow of thy aid son, and give not thy strength to strangers. When yeah. thou has got, when thou has got, that, that, that stranger because you know they say not only strangers is um um thing that stranger there we're talking about is is the foreign nations, right? What it says when thou has gotten a fruitful possession through all thy field, sow it with thy own seed, trusting in the goodness of thy stock, so thy race which thou leavest shall be magnified. Having the confidence in their own good descent. Can in their own good descent coming from the preacher and tell the father. Right? Yeah, so you... with your own seed. Don't yeah. mean, don't, the scripture said, don't give that which is proper to, unto the unto other nations. Can. It says, uh, Go ahead, uh. Yeah, uh, Proverbs 5 and 15. Drink waters out of their own cistern. Can. When they walk out of their own well. So, in other words, the, the seed of Israel is always supposed to be pure. But because That's we right. are headed, you know what I mean? We lusted after these other women. And, and by doing that now, make a covenant with them. Now we started to go off with the eyes anymore. So we didn't just pop them and left them. We had to go and pop them and fall in love with them. Huh. And go off in the eyes anymore. That's how the brother mentioned we became weak. We became weak now. We became... Uh, the degenerate uh, plant. Yeah, can't, 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 can you understand? Huh. Always want to bring Christianity right back to the to, to the forefront. You going back heathen, to the vomit. You going back to the vomit. Yeah, Christianity is vomit. Can and the heathens have no part in our inheritance. No, no part at all. You understand? Go ahead, huh. Salaki. Go ahead. Go ahead, Salaki. Something? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. 
Oh, yeah, um, this this going back to Gideon, right, and his children, and also the the son we had with the concubine. Oh, oh, his son, um, this um, uh, Abin Abin Abim Abim Leech. Oh, we turn and end up slaying um, slaying um, his his own brothers. Huh. But he he was he was he mother was 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 um, Gideon concubine. Come on. Right? This is uh Judges chapter eight verse thirty say and Gideon had three score and ten sons of his of his body begotten, for he had many wives. And his concubine that was in Shechem, she also bare him a son who name was who name whose name he called Abimlich. Right? I'm gonna jump down and go to verse nine. Um, so like uh, Judges chapter nine verse one, and Abim and Abimelech, the son of um, Jer Jerubal. So like, yeah, I think it's Abimelech. Abimelech. Yeah. Abimelech. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he said, and Abimelech, the son of Jerubal, went to Shechem unto his mother's brethren, and communed with them, with all with all the family of the house of his mother, father, saying, Speak, I pray you. In the ears of all the men of Shechem, whether it's better for you, either that all the sons of Jer Jerubel, which are three score and ten persons, reign over you, or that one reign over you, remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. So oh. maybe father was a concubine, so you went and betrayed your brothers them. Oh. You understand? Oh. You went and betrayed with, 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 with the heathens. And this was this was the um I think this was the um if I, correct me if I'm wrong this was the um uh the stock of um the Midianites. I I I can't I can't recall that actually, but Marcus, you can recall. I I need to yeah, step out for a little bit. I need to um the the question. Um this 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 is this is with judges um with with Gideon. With Gideon, um, son Abimelech, we get with yeah. the concubine. Yeah, there, there was a, there was the Midianites. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't recall. Gun, gun. Right. All right. Um, I'm just touching back on this thing right quick. So this is Psalms. Psalms. Um. Uh, also, like, yeah, to come back to you. Know. Psalms 106 and 34. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among them, among the heathen, and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring in their own inventions. See? So this is what the Lord was saying. It's not a contradiction. It's just that Israel was disobedient. Right? So when you look up the word mingle here, we get the word Arab. Psalms H sixty one forty eight. Adrian. Adrian. Right? It says what uh so watch up here in the cage if you transition come. It says some metal surety. Surety is like a pledge. Right? So you might have like your um, you, you, you will have your 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 your, your father in law and he'll give you a pledge. He all 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 they, all they come together now, but it's one house. Right? Meddle, mingle, pledges, become, become it, engage, intermit, intermeddle, right? Mortgage, occupiers, undertake, right? So it's a pledge to in, to in exchange a mortgage to engage. Right? Um, but of course, I have to step out for a minute. Right? So, 
right? To um to pledge and uh, to follow to have fellowship with. Right? That way we mingle with we had fellowship with. Right? Um, um to watch yeah, to intermix technically to traffic as if to buy barter, also to give security as a kind of exchange. To engage or meddle with the mortgage or occupy to give pledges to become to put in surety to take. Right? And a little bit more depth here, I think. Right, but basically the point is that we wasn't supposed to all right here. So mix like kindred to interweave. Right? Kindred to or to interweave. We wasn't supposed to sleep with them. Right. Also, to weave and to to weave when no 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 wolf. Right. So that goes into the to the mixing, like mixing, like when they making um fabric and yarn. You have the weave and the wolf. Right. The brother from London did a beautiful video on breaking that down. This uh, they will have some threads going um uh, horizontal, some going lateral, and they're kind of locking them into place. So in other words, it was supposed to be a, it's like a metaphor allegory about laying with them. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. just trying to find find something here, Phil. Um, okay. Just give me a second while I'm while I'm looking for it. Okay. Uh, I have one other script. Yeah, I can read the script in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still looking for it. All right. So there's Daniel chapter nine. Daniel chapter nine and um, chapter nine five. Says, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgment. Right? Neither have we hearkened unto thy, thy servants, the prophets, which speak in, in thy name to our kings and, and our princes, our prince and our fathers and to all the people of the land. Right? So, so Moses, Moses gave us the laws, right? And then we, we read, we read it in, um, we read in Judges, we read in, um, Nehemiah, who's a contemporary to Ezra in the same time, right? And all of them do, they were the prophets saying not to do these things, right? O oh Lord, right, verse 7, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us is confusion of faces, right? As it is this day, uh, it's confusion of faces, right? As it is this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries where the dove has driven them because of their trespasses, that they have trespassed, right? Against thee, O Yahweh, to us belong confusion of face. Right, which is what we went through that earlier on, right? There's a shame, and to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To to Yahweh, our power belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against Him, right? So we so the rebellion brings that shame. Yeah, I got, I got one scripture here. Um, Daniel chapter nine, verse seven. Go ahead. You hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Right, I just got one scripture here before I go. I got to go and expect the man. So, lucky about that, right? Go ahead. Um, but there's Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse um, 8 and 9. It says, And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself. And that's what we didn't do. You understand? Know only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. That's why Solomon and uh, um, Samson's father was telling him, My love, why to the other? Why to be women? What are you going to the heathen woman for? So he was teaching his son, but his son was so hard headed. My, she, she looked good in my eyes, my want she. You know what I mean? So, so. This has been always been a problem with Israel. They have always been rebellious. They have always forsaken the Lord. And, and uh, this is how uh, we became, uh, uh, maybe even a mix with the other heathens. 
You see, and we became of less stature all the time. You see? Yeah, so I, yeah, um, I do want to get to know, um, no, the, the like some people might say, you know, we look like the, the so called Africans, called, you know, they by the colors African, but I would have come from mingling with them, you know, yeah. because we spend we spend plenty time over there with them, you know, during the time we was in Africa before the Lord, you know, brought us here in slavery. So that is one of the reasons why we look like them because of intermingling the seed. And that's where intermingling the seed does. You understand? For case in point, like the Sicilians, all right? The Italians, they, they, they look like Esau. Look at them, um, look at Ephraim. Ephraim, Ephraim almost looked like, like, um, like Esau. All right? The scripture said he went over the wall. They, they, they constantly intermingling with Esau. Now they, the complexion almost as, as the same as Esau, almost pale. Can, can. The Egyptian. Can, you understand? Like from intermingling with the, with the other nations, because we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to keep your seed pure. Yeah. I can move right out here. I'm going to move on especially. So, like here about that. I'm going to back to you. I'm back to you. I'm going to try back to you. But there are two witnesses supposed to come in too. So, as one go on, another one come in. The most I never shot his glory and will see. You can't serve the father who heartily in this in this place, boy. You know what I mean? Thanks. Say it, it bother me it, when these things happen, man. But hey, uh, may the spirit of the Lord be with you, Akim. You know me. You how about Shimmy Shai? By Shimmy Kaku Dash Brakatam. Brakatam. The um, oppression making the wise man mad. <laughs> right. Yes, I'm warm. Go ahead, uh. You got something there? Still looking. Still looking. All right. This is uh, this is Genesis, Genesis chapter six, verse um. Start from uh, start from verse one. He said, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the dot and daughters were born unto them, that the sons that the sons of the power saw the daughter of men that they were fear. And they took them wife of all which they choose. All right, so the, some, this is from since back then. You know, we was, we was, we was in this great transgression. All right? Because the, 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 the daughters, the daughter of men is of uh, the other nation. All right? Ah, you see, you see, and, the, and the Lord Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh. And his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Yeah, we got we and we, we, we try to transgress the most I lie, you know. We're not supposed to make no covenant with them. You know? Supposed to just use them as well as a beaten stick. Huh. You know, so you're not supposed to breed them up and all them thing, you know. Just as just just use them as a concubine, is it? That is it. It's what what we transgress. We always just do what we what we wanted and not what the Lord said. Ah, I find it here. Yeah, man? Yeah, fine. Please, um, from the book Babylon to Timbuktu, page 107. Yeah, man? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. It says, Ptolemy Sota of Egypt conquered Syria and Phoenicia, deported more than 100,000 Hebrews. The Persian king Cambyses had previously sanctioned the colonization of the Hebrews in Egypt. During the wars of the Maccabees, thousands of Hebrews became slaves and exiles. Ptolemy Natrius captured 10,000 slaves from the region of the Sea of Galilee. The kings of Egypt, Samtik I and Samtik II, used Israelite garrisons on the Egyptian borders near Libya. The wars with Rome compelled hundreds of thousands more to escape into northern Africa. During the Punic Wars after, North Africa contained a large Hebrew population. Right? A large Hebrew population 
this Hebrew population made converts and intermarried with the Canaanites and the Native Africans. Hmm. Yeah, Welcome, welcome. Done. So it's showing you that Israel was intermarrying with, with them heathen some long time. And that is not the reason why we're looking like these so-called Hamites. All right, yeah. we have a, a similar look. It's, um, and um, Isaiah 3. Isaiah 3. Let me read that real quick. This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 3, verse boom, 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 boom. verse 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be a stink, and instead of a goodly rent, and instead of well set here, baldness. Now, Judah here used to be real long. Uh. Now, if you look at the Hamite, they here can't grow. And that is how we, we picked up that trait, that, that nappy head. We picked up that nappy head from them Hamites. Uh, uh. And that is how that curse in um, Isaiah 3 was fulfilled by mingling with them Hamites. Right. So it's like cause and effect. Can. It's like cause and effect. No? It's like, I mean, the more you study it, it's becoming more evident. Why? Because what? Look, we're going through it, they see that we pick up the trait, just like I was talking about, that mongrel trait. Right? We was, we were giving the description of the, uh, uh, a seven foot J, uh, Israelite mingling with a, a four foot book mm. or more by right in between you we started we started diminishing stature as the scripture right. say um uh, i think it's, it's isaiah we talk about how israel become this degenerate plan done I'll, I'll look up the word degenerate in that scripture but um baram what we, the discussion today is about um we asked a comment board question basically about Ezra 10 um why why israel Put away the, the children of um, the mixed seed. If we say that the children of the mixed seed is is Israel, the person was saying that, or the scoffer was saying that is um a contradiction. So we point, we proven that it's not a contradiction. It's more more or less uh, they did that in repentance to the breaking of the law, because the law said wasn't wasn't to what to lay with these women. Are we going through it as in what what was the outcome of laying with these women, and uh, how we Born and the curses because we, we broke the law such as now of the hour worship now shit. Yeah, and I, if I can just add on that too, um, you know, when, when they would take these other heathen women, what do they do? They take on their customs. They huh. take on their gods. Look what happened to Solomon. You know, and he huh. was one of the greatest kings. So it's just going to show you that as a nation how we fell off and and it, you've seen the same effects today. A lot of a lot of Jake loves what? They love the white woman, they love uh, uh white snow bunny they call him or, or, or you know, Asian, <laughs> Moabites, whatever. But yeah. they, they, they take them as wives and not as what? As as like a concubine. Oh, you know? oh. they, they, they fell from their glory that they're actually a royal people. You know, and just like it says in, um, what is that? Baruch, no, not Baruch. Um, Tobit talked about, um, he took, he, he, he um, Tobit and his wife, they was from a, a two good seed, two, two good uh, branch lines, oh. you know? And we're still seeing the effects today. And and also on top of that, we weren't supposed to give our sons or daughters to marriage to them. What are we doing today? Oh, the, the Marion, Corey, Rockefeller, you know, my, my daughter, you know, it's it's happened in my family, you know, and it's and we're, we're witnessing it, man. That's why we want the Lord to be up the days and have this come and claim and become. So we have to be a part of this mix up, you know. Uh, uh, this is um Exodus chapter nineteen. Exodus chapter 19, verse 4. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagle wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nation, these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So we were supposed to be wholly separate from all these other nations. Priests, reverencing Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Silver, right? But we we went we went aside that and did our own thing. So you know the curse come upon us as Daniel 
Daniel said, and and as Daniel nine five go down said, right? And the result is what the confusion of faces, the intermingling, as Brother Byram was just saying to, right, going into the whoredom and all. Just just in eh, oh slack yeah. Matters I can remember that scripture in the uh, apocrypha when we talk about um we was, we was discussing it last night. Um when I was talking about um the children being witnesses to their whoredom. Right? Because the children of the of, of the intermingled relationship, those children are witnesses to the whoredom of Israel, of Israel going off or moving away from your, the commandment of Yahweh Shai, which was not to mix with these with these other nations, to so put them to death. Right? But there's a provision in the law though that when we conquer a nation, and we see a, a, a damsel that, 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 that we, we love, that, that we can, uh, we can what, give her period of mourning, right? We're going to treat her, we're going to, um, we're going to cut off her hair, we're going to pay her nails, trim her nails, right? She'll mourn for a month, and then after that, right, we could deal with it, or we deal with it, but not have children by it. So the law had provisions across the board for everything, that hey, in case your heart do melt, but guess what you see? Don't, don't fall in love. Even if it, even they had, don't fall in love, don't, 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 don't marry her, don't marry her. I mean, sex is the, sex is the, uh, is, is the act of marriage, but don't, don't, don't marry her as in, as, as in, do that treaty or that surety or that pledge. Because when you went into the word of, um, I think it was mingled, is, is given that pledge. So what? You have a uh, marriage, what you do? You give a dowry to the father in law. The father, the father-in-law of the bride will give what a pledge of what land it could be, it could be cattle, it could be whatever it may be, so that they bring the two houses together, now, right? So you don't do that. You don't do that because they are the heathens. They don't have no part and parcel with with with, 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 with our righteousness and our holiness, right? You don't do that. You don't give the heathen. A matter of fact, they say when thou do is good, no good, thou do is good unto, right? So them heathen don't have no, no part and nothing that we doing here, right? Again, Mark, is that? Um, that that one exactly, Baha one here. Now, wisdom is Solomon. No, I think Baha. Is that wisdom is Solomon? I can't remember exactly. I just know it's in your pocket. Yeah. Wait, roughly paraphrase one time. I got a precept too, but roughly okay. paraphrase it. Okay, go on. Uh, the, the precept was uh, the, 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 the children is witness to their, um, their whoredom. As this one is um wisdom of Solomon four and um six it says for the children be got of unlawful bed. Uh, yeah, that's that that is it, that's it. So what uh, that is it. Done, done. Uh, this wisdom of Solomon four and six it says for the children be gotten of unlawful beds are uh, wit are the witnesses of, of wickedness against their parents huh. in their trials. Huh. Yeah, it's a witness against the um it's a witness, right? Of wickedness against their parents in their trial, right? So, so, so what they laid with the heathen, and they brought forth that that um that bastard child or that mongrel as Makaza brought out in the earlier, right? That degenerate, that degenerate, that degenerate branch, right? Go ahead with your precept, my arm. <clears throat> uh, this is Ezra chapter nine verse one. I don't know you y'all brought this precept out, Ezra. Ah, Ezra ah, but let's let's just pray. Well, go ahead. Uh, Ezra 9, 1 to 2, it says, Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. You know, <clears throat> so those are all the heathen nations that we were going to war with. But yeah. what we do, we took them as wives and husbands, and and you know made covenants and just like you said, a pledge. You know, and you know was taking on their customs. You know, and you know when you when you get a woman right. Or, or, or you have children with them. I, I, I don't have children, so I can't, uh, um, you know, say, say about it fully. But 
when you do have this, what do you get? You're soft to them. They, huh. can, they can ease on you. Oh, baby, don't worry about it. Da, da, da. You know? Huh. 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 Which is wicked. And it, and, it, and it takes you away from what? The law, statutes, commandments, and the zeal of the Lord. Huh. You know? And we're seeing that we're seeing that today on a large scale, man. And only in the elect are, 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 are standing firm. The Lord has preserved, what, 7,000 men who will not bow down knee for Baal. You know? So... Man, it's just getting heavy and heavy every day, man. Every day you wake up, it's just, you got this heaviness on yourself. Like, man, it's about to come down, you know? Like, this could you say, what, Matthew, Luke, your, your father will trespass against you. Your brother will, will um, you know, sell you out and, sh and things like that. It's about to happen, man. Done. I saw me up for you. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. This is Leviticus 20, verse 26. And he shall be holy unto me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from the other people, that ye should be mine. Yeah. And, so he separated us from the other nations, so we're not supposed to be going there to be unclean. We're supposed to be clean unto the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Right? We're not supposed to be mingling our seed. It's our reason the Mosai took Abraham and what the Lord did was like selective breeding. He took Abraham and, and gave him a close relative, Sarah. And then when Isaac wanted a wife, he didn't give Isaac a wife from the other nations. He gave Isaac a, a wife from his mother's own people. They huh. went all the way to Syria, all the way to Syria, day's journey just to get a wife. The same thing with Jacob. It's like you go to the market, you, you, you know, you have a corner store, right, two, two blocks from your house. But if you put to go to the city to go in the market to get the choice, choice good, right. it's like that, you know? Hey, let me bring this piece up out real quick. Go ahead. Uh, Deuteronomy twenty three seventeen. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you okay again, Tita? Just getting in town. Let's look up a wood real quick. Come bring up. That's something we finish. Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. It's right. Ezra, Ezra chapter 9, verse 12. Now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your son, nor seek their peace, nor seek their peace for their wealth forever, that he may be strong, and eat the good of the land and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. Huh. Right. As, um... Yeah, and, it, oh, hey, and, and that's powerful because you got Jake in, in today's generation saying what? You know, if my daughter wants to get married to Jim, John, Dick, Harry, then okay. You know? Bill, Bill and Bob. Yeah, because they've they gone soft, man. Our people gone soft as a nation, especially the men. And it starts with the men. That's who we're dealing with. You know, that's who, we're, that's who the Lord, his message is to, is to the men. And, and the men have to get themselves in order. But guess what? Only the elect are. And it's a small remnant. Because what? In Isaiah, the first chapter says, what? If if Lord hasn't left us towards a small remnant, we would have been at Sodom and Gomorrah. Huh. Done. Wicked. Just, just all over the place, man. Because this flesh is wicked, man, you know? Uh, two precepts here for you. Well, there's Genesis 24, verse, I started verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And Yahweh had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house, that ruled over all that he had, put, I pray thee, thy hand under my tie, and I will make thee swear by Yahweh Shemiah Shai, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of Canaan, among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country, to my kindred, to take a wife unto my son Isaac. So he said, yeah. don't even take a, a wife from a son from even the people that dwell in nearby. Go, go back to, to Syria, to yeah. where I'm from, to get to get of an old family. That is how... That is how I would say how strict they were back then about not mingling the seed. Huh. Right? right. Uh, Is the last one here? 
This is um, Genesis 26, verse 34. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Berai, the Hittite, and Bishamat, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, which were a grieve of mine unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Ah, that grief. That's the evil thing. Yeah. Yeah, but as, as, as you know, it had this thing with saying, sure, that, you know, them women like to say they don't want to late for school here, style children. That's so, like the Come, they don't want to mingle among their own people. They want to go to, to the Indians or Esau to, to mingle the seat or wait away with itself. Come, like, oh, like, like this. Like, too, but tell his father. Well, too bad. I told two bits, sorry. All right? Um, I just want to bring this one real quick. It's Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I planted thee a noble vine, holy and a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though thou wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap, Yet then iniquity is marked before me. Yeah, because the witness of the children, right? They mix up confuse, confusion of faces, right? Said the Lord, Yahweh Paul, how canst thou say I am not polluted? Yeah, because how people say that, hey, JK and curse, like how we, how we point out that Israel, all Israel is underneath the curse, right? Even in the world, before I was in the truth, they could have seen that something was wrong with black people, so-called black people. Black people was cursed. We used to say that before, before I even came into the truth. Like black people curse, but yeah, because we are on the curse and it manifests. We polluted, so we curse. Daniel nine and um, eleven. I have not, I have not gone after, uh, I have not gone after Bal, Bal, Balam or Balim. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Thou art, thou art a swift drummer, drummer dear, traversing her ways. And you know, that's just our reason reading this. It, 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 it um. It, it draw me to, to these churches, these Christian churches led by Jake, T.D. Jake, Scrapplow Dollar, uh, Casey Price, right? You're all mixing the congregation, which is also a, um, a transgression of the law, right? You all have heathens up in the congregation, right? That's why that either Mike boy came and shot up a whole set of them uh, a couple of years back, right? Because you all don't believe in the words of Yahweh Shem He said, don't mix this seed and we separate from all these other nations. We're not supposed to be around them. Right, we picking up the ways on all that. All that is um going after Bal Balam, right? Because if, I think it's, it's Balam Bar, uh, is Baal Barit is going to the community where everybody coming together. We're not part of no community. We the nation of Israel who meant to serve and worship Yahweh Shem Yahushai, right? So I just wanted to look up the word degenerate in verse twenty one. Degenerate. That's what degenerate uh, probably passive participle turn off, right? Um, how the Lord said, boy, you'll be out of um, out of the is like you'll be out of the circle. I forget how the Lord has said, uh, put out, you'll be put out of the camp. You see, part is part, pass, pass, probably passive participle turn off that is deteriorated. Deteriorated, degenerated. Right? So before I go into that, I'm going to check this one out. It says, part, pass, removed, expelled, Isaiah 49 and 21, and exiled, and expelled. Would we exile and expel from Jerusalem too? Man. Those who are removed from me, who have departed, Right, because they go after the customs of the, uh, 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 of the wives, right? So when the, 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 um, the idols, a degenerate branch or shoot compared to root, Jeremiah 221, the, the degenerate branches of a strange vine, right? That is other nation. The temple only found the kings which, for, for which in similar passage in Chronicles, the gate of the foundation. Right? That's something for you here. What? This is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 1. 
It says, Now I will sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered all the stones thereof and planted it with the choice vines and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have um, not done within it? It says, Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth wild grapes. All right? Now, when he say he took it and he hedged it and he took all the stones, the stones were the other nations. He cast all the other nations. And when he planted it and saw that it would bring forth good grapes, it brought forth wild grapes. Because why? Because as, as um, you read in, um, in Psalms that they didn't cast all the nations, all right? Yeah. They mingled with them other nations, you know, yeah. brought forth seed of the other nations and followed the doctrine of the other nations. Yeah. All right? That's why the scripture said um, Israel, he saw Israel as a backsliding heifer. Yeah. You understand? Because why? You went and mingled yourself among the other nations. So this is the, 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 how to say the end result of mingling with the other nations. They're going to weaken the scene and they're going to worship the gods. That is why the Lord separated them. Uh, hey, can I just um, bring this out real quick too? Because um, this brother was just saying, you know, how they didn't um, separate themselves from them. And that goes into a, a, a very evil thing that Benjamin did during the time of ju judges, you know, when um, they they didn't pick out all the, um, it was either the Perizzites or Jebusites out of Jerusalem, you know, and, and what happened? It defiled the land, it defiled Benjamin, you know, and, and, and those uh, wicked Benjamites, they committed that wicked crime of, of trying to rape the man, you know, commit sodomy, but oh. instead they gave, uh, they gave um, uh, one of his women, but uh, let me just bring this out real quick. This is um, Judges chapter 21 and verse 25. It says, in those days, there was no king in... No, it's not here. Um, this is... Um, yeah, y'all can come back. I got to get it real quick, but y'all yeah, can come back to me. Well, um, y'all would have... This is Genesis chapter twenty. Um, Genesis chapter twenty-six, no twenty-seven, verse um, forty-six. He said, "Rebecca said unto Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughter of the head." He said, "If Jacob take take a wife of the daughter of head, such such as these, he said, such as these which are of the daughter of the land." What good shall my life be, be um, do to me? So Rebecca was stressing, God. you know, stressing over these heathen, these heathen women. She didn't want she, she didn't want Jacob to go and marry these women, God. right? They showed her, they showed her what there was there was a strict law in our household. God. You know, don't 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 make no covenant with these heathen women, God. right? Um, Genesis twenty eight and one. He said Isaac called Jacob. And bless him and charge him, me command him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughter of Canaan. Oh. Arise and go to Padaram, um, Par to the house of Bethuel, thy mother, father, and take thee a wife from hence of oh. the daughter of Lebanon, thy mother's brother. So oh. Jacob was a man who cousin. Cousin, yeah, he was cousin. Yeah, he forced cousin. There's a pure and this pure there's there's, there's a pure there's a pure seed. Yeah, you see that you see that you see that in the world today they sell it as insect. Yeah, because of the, 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 they because of lack of knowledge. Even these devil do it. Huh. These elites. They yeah, keep they yeah. keep the bloodline pure. Yeah, they, yeah. And anybody really actually because um I don't know if you all know the um local singer Mighty Trini, the man who sing um Corita Banka. Right? Yeah. From what I heard, from what I heard is that he is um a Syrian, right? And the Syrians didn't want him to um to 
to be even part of like J culture and thing, and they cast him out. He cast out. Right? From what from what I heard, I don't know how true it is, is that they cast him out because he was part in the, the carnival and all these different things. And yeah. he's singing. And I don't I don't know I don't know if it's more than that if he had a, a, a Jake if he was dealing with Jake too. Right? But they cast him out. No? Yeah, I got it here. I got it here. Even the um, for my city, even the Syrians, the Syrians, they they breed within their own family. Huh? And you know they don't they don't mix their seed. Huh? Yeah. Well, um, so called uh, the modern day Syrians, which is Esau, because the ancients, the ancient, the ancient um Syrians. Well, they want Esau, right? They want Edomites. Can, can. Go ahead, man. Uh, this is Judges 19 and verse 10. It says, But the man would not tarry that night, but he rose up and departed and came over against Jebus, which is Jerusalem, and there were with him two asses saddled. His concubine also was with, with him. And when they were by Jeb, Jebus, the day was far spent. And the servant said unto his master, Come, I pray thee, and let us turn in into the city of the Jebusites and lodge oh. in it. See, and um, I'm going to just keep reading. Um, let me just jump down to verse 14. It says, And they passed on and went their way. And the sun went down upon them when they were by Gibeah, which belonged to Benjamin. You see, so they didn't cleanse the whole land of um, of all those uh, uh, heathen uh, nations, the enemies. So it defiled the land. You know, their their customs, they were still being heathens, you know, doing sodomy, doing uh, eating unclean foods, this, that, the third. And that defiled the land of Benjamin. And, you know, you keep reading on in the story, you go on to uh, the, the 20th chapter of Judges, it talks about, um, you know, the, those 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 sons of Benjamin that commit that wicked, evil act, you know, and 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 it was supposed to be remembered throughout all generations of uh, this of this evil that happened, you know, between Benjamin and the tribes of Israel. They went to war because of this, you know, yeah. you know, and everything was written for what our learning. So, yeah, this is, this is a good example. I want to bring bring back out this word here, but I didn't finish here. And degenerate, right? So when you come up to Strong's definition, it says um, probably passive part, participle of H5493. So I'm going into this H5493. The word there is sure. I the war. Right. To put, take away, to depart, to remove. Right. This is the, so. This is one of the root meaning of the word degenerate. Right. To depart, to the, to remove, aside, to take, turn, turn in, take off, to go, to put, to eschew. Right. To turn aside, depart, to turn aside, turn into, depart from, way, to avoid, to be removed. Let's just come down. Um, to cause to turn aside, to cause to depart from, to remove, to take away, aside, leave undone, retract, reject, abolish, to be taken away, be removed. So this all that happened to the nation of Israel. Because we took out, we were, the most high, the most high, that's why Yahweh Shai was to come, because he, he stopped dealing with us. We was under the curses, we under the curses, and these are all, Effects of the curses that we remove from our power. That's why we're not blessed. That's why we're not shining as wisdom. Right? Because we've been removed. Right? Anybody have anything? Yeah, I got I got a precept. Go ahead. This is Baruch chapter 2, verse 26. It says, In the house which is called by thy name hast thou laid waste, as it is to be seen this day. All right, over there in Jerusalem, what's being trodden down by the Gentiles still. The, the ah, time is, is supposed to be fulfilled. 
You know, but it says, um, as it is seen to be seen this day, for the wickedness of the house of Israel and the house of Judah, I, I, O Lord, our God, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all that great mercy of thine. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. You know, and, and, and you know, our great multitude, yes, we're still a great, great uh, huge nation as the sand of the sea, yes, but only the only the, that elect is really the nation of Israel. Why? Because we keep the Lord's commandments. And we're, we're, we're in, I did a sit down on this last night. We're engaging. We're engaging with the Lord. You know, what do you do before you get married? You engage to someone, right? And, um, basically engage means to like, um, like fully commit. You know, like what do you do when you engage in warfare? Your, 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 your blood's pumping, your heart's beating fast, you know, and you're ready to get things done, man. You're ready to kill and take spirit, you know, and it says, um, verse, 20, verse 30 says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a sick neck people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, you know? Huh. Yeah. I probably would engage too. You know, and, um, our, our people, they want to be... um. They want to be like, oh, it's, it, it's okay, you know, it's all right if my daughter you know, marries him, you know, just because just, just they want, you know, they're impatient, you know. They, 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 they want, you know, their children out the house at a certain age. So if, if it's Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know, a Moabite, an Edomite, a, 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 a Hamite, they don't care, you know. Let, just let's get it on with, you know. But but that's wicked. The, the Lord says, "Don't be don't be ignorant in a small matter or a great matter." This is Sirach five and fifteen. It says, "Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small." And then when we come out and and preach this word and and teach our people law, says commandments, the way to be, how to uphold yourself in these times, they're they're just too sucked into this world, man. You know, and we're seeing it. So you destroy for lack of knowledge. Um, destroy for lack of knowledge, that's right. Yeah, the, the word engage means to be pledged to also. Right? And what a lot of people do, so they, they pledge to allegiance, right? They pledge to the flag. It's like, go ahead, bro. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, that, no problem. I have a good example too. Pledging the allegiance too. So now go, all that goes back to the war. The war them. Right, because when you go back into the word mingle, they talk about being pledged and making that surety, which go back to, um, to, to that pledge or that commitment. Right, it, and that's one of the things that we're fighting against. Right, because my ministry just said that we're fighting not against um, flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Right, oh, yeah. and we, we are charged with the breaking of our strongholds. So, you see, when they come and they bring the word to, when they come and bring the word to uh, a confusion of faith. Right, one of the one of the one of the demons that they will have on them is emotion, and for them to know that, all right, here was the scene. My father is a Jake, yeah, as, as I should like, but my mother is a, a, a Elam, a East Indian. You know, the emotions gonna kick in, and then this doctrine can can sit right with them. It now becomes a stumbling block onto them. So everything kind of falls into place in terms of those who have the eyes to see and the wisdom and the understanding to know why that these these people being being scooped up. Right? They're going to be scooped up and choose death rather than life. Right? Because of the transgression of the parents who were, who, whom they were in, in, in previous lives. Right? Go ahead, Makaza. This is um, 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 1. And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. And the name of the firstborn was Joel, and the name of the second was Abia. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after Luca and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 
But the thing this piece, Samuel, when they said, give us a king to judge us, and Samuel prayed unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahashai. So now the point I wanted to bring out is that when they said, give us a king to judge us like the nations. You understand? Because these nations, because the scripture, when they go down for it, it says, the Mosa is your king. You understand? They, they, they always wanted to be like the other nations. Mm. They, they don't want to be like the self. That is why they want a king like the other nations. That is why they want to intermingle with the other nations. That is why they want to worship the gods of the other nations. <laughs> and you, you, you see that on, even on to this day. You see that on to this day. You have Jake down here celebrating um, Diwali. Diwali is, a, is a, um, an Indian custom. You see they dressing up in the Indian gown. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say, why trim is their way to seek love? Everything the, the nations do, they want to do. But to be an Israelite, they, they don't want to die. The scripture said, um, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Hmm. You understand? They, they, they prefer, they, they, they're more ready to do wickedness than to do good. That is why the scripture said, let me read this real quick. This is Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3. Um... Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 5. It says, For thou art not sent a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely, had I sent thee unto them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. So the Lord said, if you go on to the other nations and speak to them, they will listen, but not Israel. Israel just is just a rebellious nation. They want to do everything all the other nations doing. All right? They rather would eat kids and point like the Muslims. All right? That is a yeah. Roman Catholic doctrine. But they don't want to hear. They just want to do uh, the scripture talk about the lust of the eyes. All right? And that is the thing with Israel. Israel just want what they see. With where, where everybody else doing, they want they, they like monkey see monkey do. They, they don't have that rulership mentality, that kingly mentality where they, they want to set their own trend. All right? Because the brother Kwasha, he read Deuteronomy 4 when he said that he gave your laws that all the nations will marvel at you. But now it's the other way around. Israel marveling at all the other nations. I want to do the things. I want to be just like the other nations. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice point. Yeah. That's up there. What? What? Exodus chapter 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee to sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snail unto thee. Mm. I believe it's in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, when the Mosai was telling them, get rid of the nations. He said, if you don't get rid of them, they will be a, a, a thorn in your side. Right. And, and that is what it turned out to be a thorn in your side. Hey, it says in Peter, it says what? Be, 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 uh, so be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Right. You know? These nations deceive us with their, with their wine. Right. And who's the chief one of, of the heathen? Esau. Hey, can I, can I bring out these pieces? I got some bad piece up here, man. Yeah, come on, go ahead. This brother Mikaza, Mikaza said, um, you know, they, that, they, that we want to have a king over uh, us, you know. But the Lord said, what? I am your king. You know, and, and it made him wroth. It made him angry because, what? He's a jealous power. And then what? Yeah. When, you go, when you go into the time of Yahweh Shai, they said, oh, who do you want? Yahweh Shai or, or Barabbas? And they said, they want Barabbas. And then they said, oh, we, we also they said, what? We only have one king, and that's Caesar. You know, why? Because Caesar gives them what? They give them carnal things. They give them money. The coins, the, the gold and silver shekels they give now in this day and age they give them um, the FRNs, you see. So it's there's nothing more than the sun. It's the same thing going over and over again. And um, this is um, 
Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 5 to 6, it says, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, this is Jerusalem. All right, so it goes to show you that Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It says, I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her, and she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes. They have not walked in them. You know, and, and, and you know, Lord, he, he's not dealing with that. And this is, um, you know, this brother, uh, Barah was talking about, you know, we played the whore and we still are to this day. This is going into that uh, time of judges as well. How that incident all started. It was what? From, from a woman. All right. It was from a woman. This is Judges 19 and verse... I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, And it came to pass in those days when there was no king, you see, no king in Israel, that there was a certain Levite sojourning on the side of Mount Ephraim, who took to him a concubine out of the Bethlehem Judah. And his concubine played the whore against him and went away from him unto her father's house to Bethlehem Judah and was there four whole months. You know, and that's how the whole, that's why the scriptures say what? Through the wickedness of a woman, we all die. No. Play the harlot, play the whore, you know? Go ahead. This is um First Timothy chapter five, verse twenty two. It says, Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of other men's sin. Keep thyself pure. So we're not supposed to be partakers of the sin of the other nations. Are we supposed to keep ourselves pure, keep our seed pure? Right? That is, that is the purpose. The most high separated us from the other nations to, to be among ourselves. Beginning with Adam. He took Adam from among the other nations and put him in the garden. And he did the same thing with Abraham. He did the same thing with Jacob. So that we will keep that, that seed pure. Keep ourselves pure. Hey, and also in the time of Egypt, you know, when when Jacob and his sons in that time of with Joseph, when they sold when they sold when the brothers sold Joseph in um, slavery, but it all worked out for their betterment, and they was getting fed, man. But just think about all the other people during that time of that famine hit. They was dying, they were starving. But what Israel, the whole the whole tribe, the whole family line of Israel, from from Judah down to Issachar, you know, they was they was they was all set, man. You know. Huh. Huh. So that's why the most I'll come and take us from here because the scripture said um Lord talk about the parable with the with the um with the tears when the enemy come and and and, and um and sweet tears. Huh. And so because Israel is so mingled, that's why he talk about this confusion of faces, the Lord the Lord is the one who 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 know. Who know who his people are? Because it have it have you know Jake who don't look like Jake, and it have the other nations who look like Jake. So it's all a whole confusing thing. But the scripture said, known unto the Mosai's work from the beginning. So the Mosai know who are his. Mm. You understand? So that is why we are to that is that is the reason why the angels are the reapers. Because they know. God. You understand? Yeah, they, they even asked the Lord, they said, Lord, can we can we sift now? And he said, No, let them grow together. Because yeah. you know, the angels was ready. Like I, I know which one is which. I know which seed is what from which right seed line. Can can can. You know, because the angels are on a whole different level than than you know, than 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 man. You know. And hey, I can I, a little testimony too. Um, I, I was pushing camp, and this this uh this lady came up, you know, and she looked like a straight Edomite man, but then, you know, you know, she said she would say what try spirits by spirits. And she said, oh, yeah, my fa my forefathers are Native American. You know, and I was like, oh, really? You know, and she started, she was pretty much prophesied. She was bringing out, she was, oh, can you bring out Second Timothy chapter 3? And it said, what? Second Timothy chapter 3, the start of the first verse says, perilous time shall come. And she was, like, pulling it out of it. I was like, yeah. this is Jake right here, man. She had, like, greenish uh, uh, greenish eyes and thing, bro. bro. She was a Jake, man. She had that salt. And then when I, when I took off the camera, instead of putting another battery in, she told me this. She was like, Oh, you know they're gonna try to kill you. I was like, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's beautiful. You know? 
If it was if it was a a a, a, a wicked sister or a heathen woman, they wouldn't be telling me the truth like that. They would have been like, oh, God bless you, or, or you know, or, or, or cursing me out. But she was just telling me the straight truth. She was like, yo, you, you know, they're gonna try and come and kill you. You know, I was like, I mean, that's, that's the truth. That's beautiful. That's real. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. Con. They got precept. This is Jeremiah 12 and verse, verse, um, what's that? Verse 7. It says, I have forsaken mine house. I have left mine heritage. I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. My inheritance is unto me as a lion in the forest. It crieth out against me, therefore I have I hated it. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about her are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to come to devour my sorry, come to devour verse ten. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. You know? And that's why we're living in a time of Lord say what? He's gonna give us he's gonna give uh, uh the Lord's past the Lord's sheep pastors after his own heart, teaching them this true doctrine, this pure doctrine. And the elect are gonna be sealed, you know, the fruits are gonna the seeds are gonna be uh, uh seeds are gonna be planted and the, the fruit is gonna be springing forth as we see in these last days. Hey but I as they just read in verse 9, it said, My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. Come on. Now, a speckled bird have different colors. Done. Oh, Jacob was one man, but the, the house of Israel came from four different women. Oh. All right? So, whereas the other nations might have one look, Israel have, have different look. Twelve tribes that, that all look different. Come So, you know, let me say like like the like the Hamites. A Hamite might he might get fed up and say, No, I can't deal with Ham Hamite women because it's only one look. But with Israel, no, Israel can't get tired because you have twelve tribes with twelve different looks to choose from, twelve different flavors. You know, and that is why the most I gave us that. So it come like we don't have need to go into the other nations. Huh. Because we have twelve different women that, that that all look different. But Israel just they just desire the things of the other nations. We have, uh, we, have, we have the flavor, we have the salt, we have the diversity. Can. Um, Let's the come, come <laughs> on board. Shalom. I'm going to show you how 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 the earth shall tremble, and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. He says, Shall warm Zakana, Zakan, Ya, Wa Akyam, Wa Yahawaba, Yahawa, Wa Yahawa Shai, Ba Sham, Rokako Dash Barakata. So, right? Um, yeah, continue. Cool. Whatever, okay, go ahead. I, I got a precept here if you want me to bring it out real yeah. quick. John 10. John 10. Oh, this is bad. John 10 and 25 to 27 it says, Yahweh shall I answer them? I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe yeah. not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me. It says, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Uh, uh. Yeah, because that is why in Isaiah 11, the Lord said, and save the house of Israel from among all the nations. Yeah. Uh, because he know who are his. We uh. see them mingled. We don't have different faces. All right, so we had to wait. All we had to do is just, just preach. And the Lord will do the rest. Right? Just guard the elect and the Lord will save the rest. 
Stony Ward. There's your preacher, Stony Ward. Send it out. Yeah, Ship Sam. It. I, <laughs> I have one. This is uh, this is this is uh, Matthew 13, and I'm gonna start that out. Uh, I'm gonna start at 27. I said at 24, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed. Good seed is Israel, right? Huh? In his field, and but where but while men slept, right? That is what what when we're in, cap, in these different captivities, right? Huh? His enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat, right? And went his way. So, in, like in the case of um, Alexander the Great or the Creep, right? The Elamites would have sowed the seed, right? They would have had the, the um, Assyrians sowing the seed among us too. They would have even have the Hamites sowing the seed among us, right? Right? Um, but but while men slept, his enemies came and sowed tears among the wheat. Now, a tear is something that looks like the wheat. It resembles the wheat, but it's not the wheat, Right? And went his way, but when the beard was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did this not thou so good see in thy field? From whence then had it tears? And he said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then what we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while he gather up the tears, he root up also the wheat with them. Right? And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them. Mm. But gather the wheat in, into my barn. So I will go back to what. Um, yeah, I was, I mean, I was, Marcus, I was saying that, uh, my, that, yeah, I was, I said what? My sheep hear my voice, right? And the sheep know that hear any voice of Yahweh, but she may shy and repent. And, and of the elect, they'll be gathered into the barn, and the barn is what? The chariot? Because that's, that's the chariot's going to deliver you or be a salvation from what? The burning up, right? The plagues. The, yeah, the plagues, right? That's something for you. Go ahead. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, go ahead, your life. It's Isaiah 26, verse 20. It says, Come, my people, enter into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Uh -huh. Does that be silent? <laughs> Does he seven uh -huh. people jump in? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up this morning. Bra sent me a message, right? And, he, yeah. and it was China with a whole new missile pointing up. This big missile. I was like, boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The news, yeah, yeah. Can, can. The China, China. Um, they, they, they like, like they start an arms race. I kind of they are going into producing these these new missiles. Yeah. yeah. I look thing on China real quick. Is China is getting involved more and more with Syria over there in the Middle East. They're trying to put, uh, uh, unquote, send peace and stability to the region. You know? And who's China with? North Korea is with China. You know, you have the whole summit with uh, Trump and, and Kim Jong un, and Trump uh, canceled it. So it's only a matter of time, you know? Yeah. China, 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 also, China, also proud. China is also that proud man, you know? Yeah. Yeah, trying to establish yourself right now. You know what? There's what now, Apostle Tassi is the year of um, prophecies. Huh. Yes, son. You've seen everything happening. Everything unfolding right now. Yeah, you can see clear. You can see, you can see clear. You can see clear why these nations are shoot a missile to America. You're seeing clear. You know, you're seeing clear why these nations are You're seeing clear why these nations separating themselves from America. You know, separating themselves from the dollar. You know, and stop doing and stop doing deals with America and going to like Russia and China and all these places. We see clearly why these nations are destroying. You see the prophecy clear as day. 
Nu så har jag sett det där. Vi kan ta en kommentar på GMS så låt oss se om vi ska låta Omar kia. Look ah, I go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, GMS go ahead. Tell him I said. Look twenty look two. Look twenty one. Look twenty one. Look twenty one. The ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Can't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think in Revelation chapter 18, uh, um, speaks about um, even the two thirds that 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 won't re- that 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 take after the doctrine. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't have to be Revelation 18. Right, but I know it's in Revelation. It says that the two thirds that, that don't basically repent, they're gonna have the same reward as the wicked, right? Which is the seed of the proud man, which is which is Esau, which is ultimately Cain, right? The spirit of the wicked. Yeah. So they're gonna be burnt up. Our two precepts here. Yeah, man. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you you on you like? Because they just said that um. Two thirds gonna receive the same punishment, right? This is Jeremiah chapter nine, verse twenty-five. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Shem Shai, I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised, mm. Egypt right. and Judah and Edom and the children of Moab, our Ooh. children of Ammon and Moab, and all that are in the uttermost corner that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the hosts of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. So the Lord say you're gonna deal with two thirds along with the other nations. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I have one more here, just just yeah. to back up where we're in um, Revelation 17. This is Jeremiah 4, verse 28. It says, For for this land, for this shall the earth mourn, and the heaven shall be black, because I have spoken it. The earth, uh, I have pur- purposed it, and I will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and the bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and n- not a man dwell therein. Verse 30, and when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, Though thou deckest thy um, deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shall thou make thyself fear. Thy lovers will despise thee; they will seek thy life. And as it said in Revelation seventeen, it said, "These shall these shall hate the whole." Done. Yes, yeah, son. You see, China, China pulling our way. Not all, all these countries pulling away. They don't want nothing to do with America. Huh. Uh, in Jeremiah, I think it's in Jeremiah 5th, it's, um, thy mother is ashamed. Huh. Can. Jeremiah 50. Yeah. It, and it also says in Daniel, you know, partly we're in the time of what? The, the Dan- Daniel's prophecy of the image. Uh, and, um, we're at the time of his, his feet. You know, partly clay, partly uh, iron, partly strong, partly weak. Huh. And it, it goes into what? Esau's new world order. Where he wants everyone to become one. Everyone to just mingle themselves and, you know, forget the law of the Lord and, huh. and have the law of the land, the law of Caesar, which is huh. Esau. The raw huh. the raw shadows, the wicked. And, and um, you know, but, but guess what? The Lord has his elect here. That are throwing that monkey wrench, that 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 great stone, and it's ruining all these devils are uh, 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 plans, man. Cause why? Cause we're, you know, we're we're a blessed people, and we're we're pretty much their um, how can I say this? We're like the um, the muscle of their workforce, man. You know, like when you think about when you go to work, if you wasn't there, what a lot of things wouldn't get done. Cause people, what they half ass the job, but Jake, Jake, you know, they like to get things done, you know, but um. This is Ecclesiastes 44, we'll start verse 1. It says, Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning 
such as did Beru in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. You know, and what what happened during the time of um of Noah, right? The the sons of God came into the sons, the daughters of men, and they yeah. got men of renown, you, you see? And it says yeah, huh. it says verse four, leaders of the people by their Councils and by their knowledge of learning, meet for the people, wise and eloquent in their instructions, such as found out musical tunes and we, and we. Hey. Yeah, go ahead. What? I have no. I have a precept just waiting for you. What? What? Finish. Just go back into that, into the music, into the song. Go ahead. Um, it says verses in writing. Rich men, you know, it was saying um Revelation three and eighteen. It says, I know. No, no, it's not that. It's um. Revelation 2 and 9, it says, I know thy works in tribulation, thou art rich. Yeah, right? and I pump, and thou art rich. But, but they are the synagogue of Satan, the, the, the devil, Amalek, false Jews. It says, rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitation. You know, that's why the scriptures say what? I, when I, in Psalms, it says, I, when I speak, I speak of peace, but when I speak of peace, they are for war. Yeah, all right? It says, it says um, all these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported. Verse 9, this goes into what Makaza just said. It says, and some there be which have no memorial. What was just yesterday? Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, that was it a holiday. Hell And it says, <laughs> who are perished as though they have never been and are become as though they had never been born and their children after them. You know, it says, but these were merciful men whose wretchedness hath not been forgotten, with their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. See? Go ahead. All right. Um, um, I can't want to come on board. I have you all. I'll just get, come to you all there just now. This is um, they're going back to the song, and also going, going into um, um, uh, when I read in Matthew concerning the um, tear and the wheat, in Revelation 14, and I sat in a tree. And the song, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts. So it's not a new song that you just bring back the righteousness of our power, yeah, our shame, our shy. We bring back our heritage and our nationality and our history back to our nation, right? It's not a new song, it's old, right? Um, to the four beasts and to the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which will redeem from the earth. So the, only the elect are going to get it, only the elect eyes are going to see, only the elect understand, and it's going to be unlocked, right? These are uh, they which will not defile with women, false doctrines and philosophies, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb, whithersoever he goeth, these will redeem from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh, and to the lamb, Yahweh Shai, right? So we redeem your brought back by the blood of Yahweh Shai, right? Mm. But we're going to be delivered also by the chariots of Yahweh Shai, the vehicles of Israel, right? So I'm going to jump up, jump down to verse uh, 14. And I looked and I behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out, of the temple crying with a loud voice to, to him that sat on the cloud, trust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for, mm. for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So who is the harvest? Mm. The harvest would be what well, yeah, we're going to have is what? The wheat, right? Which is who? The elect, the 144,000 that is said earlier on in verse 4, uh, or verse 3, so right here, right? It says verse 16, and he that sat on the cloud trust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Right? So that's when the child is going to come and deliver the, the elect. Right? Um, um, and another angel came, was, and he said verse 17, and another angel came out from the temple, came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle, and another angel came out from the altar, which had the power over fire, and cried. With a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Trust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth. For her grapes are fully ripe, and the angel trust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it 
into the great winepress of the wrath of the Most High. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred full long. So great death gonna come toward these two thousand people and the heathen that uh, that that the most high um gonna destroy because we're have, gonna have a portion of the heathen that are gonna remain slaves, right? Of the other nations and also um the elite and of Esau, but the majority of Esau gonna be put to death. And then two thirds of our own nation gonna be put to death, and the majority of that two thirds is gonna be women. Right? The majority of that two thirds is gonna be women. Right? Call it out of order. Right? Um, let me just touch you on coming board real quick. Uh, so Mark, uh, Mark says, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse 7, Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is in, he is Mashiach, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Mashiach, even so are we Mashiach. Right? Um, anybody want to help break down? Yeah, as you say, as we, if a man think that he is Yahweh Shai's age, so are we, because we, we out here, we pushing this wood. You understand? We out here, we pushing this wood. We, it had other things that we could have been doing, or we choosing yeah. to be out here and push this wood. We, we choosing to, as I said, to herald the coming of the Lord. Yeah. You understand? Because you see, um, if, 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 you have, if I have faith, show me your faith by your works. Understand? Your yeah. faith will known by your works. Second scripture he put was um, Habakkuk chapter 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Yeah, and that is what going to happen to Esau. Understand? The scripture saying, um, I think it's in um, Jeremiah 49. It says, They whose judgment were not to drink of the cup have assuredly oh. drunken, but are thou he that shall also gonna go unpunished? He said, Thou mm. shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Okay. Right. So we went through that shame. Now Esau gonna go through it double because then um, I think it's Revelation 18 and 6. It says to give her double. Oh. You hey. Give her double for hey. she did. Hey, and that's why um over there in um in Africa, right, where they're, uh, what is it, Yemen, right? They're selling, they're selling uh, people into slavery. And then, then Esau is trying to come in like he's a Superman, like the UN thing saying, oh, we can't have this slavery thing. You know, they're trying to cover it up like, like, like it's a bad thing, like it's not going to happen. But guess what? That's an omen of things to come because they're about to be sold into slavery. Good. <laughs> also, uh, also it's, it's, a, it's hypocrisy because uh, we, know, we know a doctor that came from, from – from Congo, and he and he brought out that the government, alongside with Esau, and these other nations, what they do, they have a, a hand in Congo, each each one of them, where they have child slaves, women slaves, they have all all around slavery, they sl enslaving the people to want to work the mines to get what cobalt, coltan, and well obviously gold and the diamonds, but cobalt and coltan because these things are what they need to use to make. These tablets, these laptops, and these mm. cell phones, right? And even these flat screen TVs. So he's bringing out. So it's like, it, it, what he's saying is that Esau and Edom, right? They they pay off the government, but the government will turn a blind eye, right? And they will have the militias. They, they will set up. Esau will set up the different militias, give them arms and ammunition and whatnot, and they will go in and they will enslave the people. And really, actually, yeah, the government for sure might send the army, and the army might do a thing for a portion, but basically they can't stop then then stopping it they will they will, they will disguise it in hypocrisy but they're not stopping it because that's how they're making it the sideline money that's how they're becoming rich hey, right by the as as they hit in that topic is is so could care less about who being sold into slavery because he wants yeah. to destroy 95 percent of the world population uh. yes. They, they, um, with the eugenics, they're talking about the carbon that you know that we let out into the um, into the atmosphere. So by decreasing the human population, you decrease the, the carbon in, in the in the earth. But guess what? When yeah, we we do exhale carbon dioxide, 
but the ratio of carbon dioxide to oxygen that we release, the carbon dioxide is less. I think it's like four, um, four percent carbon dioxide, to about seventeen percent oxygen, something like that. When we yeah. exhale, we actually exhale more oxygen than carbon dioxide. And so I can to prove that. Why do CPR if we only exhale in um, carbon dioxide? Why do CPR exactly. put oxygen? Exactly. Oxygen from you still coming out to resuscitate the person that they are doing CPR on too. Exactly. Uh. Now to to show how how they on bullshit. Um, cars cars give off more carbon in the atmosphere than any thousand people to in one in one in one area in one surface area. Uh. Then they had these factories. That be giving, that be burning, they burning the smoke like um, like with the oil when they burning the oil because that is carbon. This they call it, they call it fossil fuel. Huh. Fossil fuel is just burning carbon. Huh. All that carbon going back into the atmosphere. So then, basically, you should you should stop making um fossil fuels, stop making cars that are working off gas and, and go straight electrical. But, but one like how they making their money. All right. So two two quick points. One of the um one of the reasons. Why they said they had that um, that Japanese tsunami? One of the conspiracies behind it was that um, Japan was going to make going to lock off making fossil fuel vehicles and go strictly into the technology of electronic and uh, hybrid vehicles, yeah. right? The vehicles that would have worked off of water, whatever it may be. And Edom and America didn't want that, and they sent they used the harp to send a strong message to them. Right, which was that 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 um that earthquake and tsunami that caused the um Fukushima, the Fukushima right? leak. Right. So that that was that was one of the theories behind it that that Japan was coming out with with locking off totally making and moving towards that um that so called um like like what do you call it climate control and um um and, and making only electric vehicles. The next thing. We talk about oxygen, the body and oxygen, right? Because they say that the, the earth, the earth is overpopulated, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody, when you do the study of ketosis, right? Ketosis is like the proper balance in your body, right? Energy um, coming in and going out and, and whatnot. They show you that within ketosis, a proper ketosis in your body, your body actually produces its own water. In order to produce water, you have to have H2O, uh, that's hydrogen and two oxygen, right? So you're doing that from what breaking only fat storage, right? So the most high when you read back in Genesis, he um the Allah High and Salakia, they said they created man out of the earth, right? And he said he was good, it was good, everything was good, everything was perfect, everything was correct, right? But he saw now he's sitting in the seat of God as though he is God, playing that he is God, right? He playing that he can manipulate the balances and, and everything. So far his whole track record. As the scripture said, is 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 death, is death and is corruption, right? So you can't trust in his words. His words is total lie, right? Let me just finish off two or three precepts here. It says, "Um, Shemak Amat, variety in Israel, confusion of faces." Is is that spice of life? I have a sister that I don't even know, and my carnal father went to war. He left his seed in Germany, so we everywhere can't. Well. Brother Bam, I know he on it. <laughs> Say our revelation to and eleven and, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their wives unto death. But Isaiah chapter sixty six and fifteen. For behold the Lord will come with fire. This is Solemn Assembly two. Yeah, Solemn Assembly two. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and rebuke with flames of fire. Right, Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword, the Lord will plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah, can't. That even goes back to the Revelation now, chapter 14. I think it's verse, uh, verse 18 to 20, where you talk about the, the, the trash in the sickle, right? And the blood being up to the horses, bridle lives. That is in Isaiah also, too. The slain, the slain of the Lord will be plenty, right? And uh, yeah, it's going to be plenty bloodshed in that day. All the unrighteous, the most high say he's angry with the wicked every day. All these un unrighteousness are going to be put out. And this whole earth is corrupt. When you go back to Genesis chapter, uh, I think it's chapter 11 with Noah, right? Yep. He said the whole earth is corrupt. 
When you look at the word corrupt, it, it, it means spoil, utterly ruin, you know, it's decayed, right? And same, just as it was back then, it is now, even more so. Because when, when, uh, when Ezra and these prophets was looking in or seeing into the future, was brought into vision, dream, or lifted up in the spirit and saw the future, John the Revelator, hey, they, they, they were amazed at what they were seeing. Now, to us, is a, we, we, we actually desensitized somewhat, but in the spirit, in our spirit, the spirit of the elect, the spirit of the elect crying out. Because why? We, uh, um, Ezekiel 9 and 4 say, go into, the, go into the middle of the city, into the middle of Jerusalem, for the men that sigh and cry. We sigh and cry for the abomination that we see. Our sisters are whores, right? We have that, we have that, 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 that whole, uh, we have the whole uh, thing here right now where the Venezuelans, Asher, Clean across the to, to Trinidad, to Brazil, to Colombia, to Guyana, all these different places, who are seeking refuge. They are refugees, right? And from the heathens, and even their own brothers, and their own brethren, taking advantage of them, right? Then we're not treating them equally. We're not treating them as though they're bound under the law, right? They can hold them out of them. We are taking them on as basically slaves because. They're working for, for less than minimum wage, way less when the minimum wage is like what fifteen or sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars, something like that. Akiam? I ain't too sure. Anybody, right. I think, it, it, I think it's something like that. I think it's something like that. Minimum wage up in nine dollars. Yeah, it's minimum wage nine dollars. In the US minimum wage nine dollars. Alright. I would say ten. They're working for five, working for five dollars on here. A Venezuelan man? Could do they don't have a mix of, they, they're paying them for five dollars that that's what our news article reports say five dollars right and any woman well they know of course they're going, they're going into prostitution now they have other women that not all of them in prostitution some of them they see them flood the groceries they the cashers tellers uh bag girls whatever it is right it's not a hiring his wages can't mm. can't right yep. so we're not uh j in ignorance, not dealing with their brothers or, or their sisters, how they should be dealing with them. So this this whole curse, everything is just burning down. So guys, right, hey, like when Ezra said, woe is me, woe is me, who deliver me in those days? You understand? So when you get into the true spirit of the scriptures, you understand that, hey, you see what we live in here? This this place is filthy, and this is far from the righteousness and the peace of what you have about Shemi Shai was saying. Right? Galatians 5 tell you about um, the rewards of the or the flesh is corruption. This place is fully carnal. This place that we're living in here, walking, waking up to every morning, is all about the flesh. Right? And the yes. scriptures speak about the fruits of the spirit is peace. Right? The only peace that we have is among the Akiyam. Right? Because everybody else is fighting for the flesh, for the carnal. Hey, yeah, 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 you have a, a pension plan, you're going to work. We're going to work, we just we go to work because we are, we have to go to work, but, the, but our trust is in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to provide. But He say, give us this day our daily bread. So even though you're going to work physically, you're doing it. We say by the by uh, the sweat of thy brow man shall eat bread. You understand? And if a man don't work, he won't eat, right? Mm. But really, you're looking for you're looking for all you need to be met by the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh right? These people are just total carnal. This place go on, you know. Let me go ahead. I got a piece up. Go ahead. This is um Matthew twenty two and fourteen to sixteen. It says, "For many are called, but few are chosen." Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And that's the same thing they do with us. They try to entangle us with our talk. Oh, how is the Sabbath by the new moon? How? how what do you? And they just they, they don't want to sit down and humble themselves as a little child. They 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 want to act all puff up like they know it all even if uh, you know and they they vex in the holy spirit you know uh, and, and we can go into scriptures and jump okay you're going to, we go into genesis the lord said what on the first day on the second day now when you go into peter it says what a day to lord is a thousand years to man so it wasn't this monday through saturday gregorian calendar roman thing but they don't want they don't want to humble themselves so what the lord's not giving them that secret that mystery that 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 riches that gift it says, and they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, and the Herodians were um, uh, uh, partisans of Herod, you know, which is that oh. wicked uh, uh, ruler over Jerusalem, but he was the Edomite, you know, under the Roman Empire. It says, 
saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. You know, so even though they, they, they claim like, oh yeah, you guys are cool, you know, just like it says in Amor, it's like uh, Jeremiah or Ezekiel, they stand behind walls and, and they speak secretly to one another. But but when it comes down to it, they ain't helping the brotherhood. They're not giving alms. They're not giving charity. They're not uh, uh, holding up a sign. They're not, all they're saying is, you know, throwing up a fist out the window when they're driving by in their car, you know. Uh, so like, yeah, because like you have a scripture in your pocket say that um, examine first. Before you agree, I think it's, I think it's, it have the one that says, um, examine before you blame or however, but it have one that says, uh, examine before you agree, right? Or listen to the whole matter before you agree, right? Yeah, I got, I got it right here. Want me to bring it out real quick? Yeah, go ahead. The Rock 11 and 7, blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Right, Unless blame not before then rebuke. Uh, right, blame not before thou understand the truth and understand and then rebuke. Because, yeah, many come in agreement, yeah, 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 shalom, brakata. Hebrew Israelites, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say, all right, cool. And they come and they, they sound for a while and say, yeah, I understand what they're saying, you know. I understand what you're saying, and I yes. agree. You understand? Then I say, you, 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 do you know we, we are racist? And you see, you see that look on their face. Yeah, we racist because we for our own people. The word racist means to be for your own people. We are for the nation of Israel. Who is the nation of Israel? You're going to the 12 tribes chart, right? You understand? So you see? These people, they, they don't know the depths of it. Everything is like a fad to them. This religion is a fad. You know? it's, a, it, it, it's, it's just the next best thing. But this is the truth. And the truth shall last. The truth shall live forevermore. The right? truth shall set you free. Ah, it shall set you free. Because, uh, hey, that goes somewhere. Malachi 3 and 6. It says, uh, let me get it real quick. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Right? It says, uh, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Well, consumed by what? We're not going to be consumed by the Messiahs in the day of judgment. Because we believe in the truth. And we have, hey, if the Lord said that, they, that, that, that if they don't choose either this day, life and death, right? It means to say, if you choose life, you will live. If you choose death, you will die. Right? So ultimately, those who, who, who scoff at this, at this doctrine, they're going to be put to death. I want to um, just finish off on the comment board. Shamak Amak Amak. And just to mention this further, Akia, since you brought it up, since you brought up the missiles, that the hypersonic weapon is a missile that travels at Mach 5. We, 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 no defense technology can't stop that. I think that's, um, that's Russia hypersonic missile, if I'm not mistaken. He also says that the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, he had that scripture in mind. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are the uttermost corners that dwell in the wilderness. All these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Right? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 9 and 26. Yeah, we brought that out. Yeah, come on. And Revelation 3 and 9. I know that works on that property. And, and, well, no. I know, I know the um, blasphemy of those who say they are Israel, but they are not, right? Yeah. Um, the brother, people unto that, which is brother Kalab, he wrote Psalms 120 and 7. I am for peace, but when I, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war, right? Yeah, these heathens, they for war. Esau and Edom and these other nations. Right? Anybody have anything? For yeah, I got peace. Oh, good. Okay. Titus 1 and 16. Let me start at verse 14. Actually, sorry. <laughs> Damn, man. Titus 1 and 13. It says, This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not huh. giving heed to Jewish fables. You want to break that uh, verse down? I'm going to keep going. Go ahead. Yeah, um, yeah. I right, just have 1 and 13. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sunk in the faith. Yeah, so when brothers going off, you know, you, you, you rebuke them, you, you bring them back. Because um, you might speak your own words and if you're going off, you might go inside ways. These, these coffers and things, um, they are, um, I, I, I guess they're going back to those who come up and they agree. They agree to everything. They, they, this, is, this is the point you're coming from? Yeah, Khan, it, it's going to keep reading down. It's going to keep reading okay. down. And the scriptures all say in Proverbs, 
a, a wicked man won't be reproved, won't be rebuked. Huh. You know? Yeah. It says, what? You know, it all says in, in Proverbs, uh, open rebuke is better than secret love. And it says, right. not, verse 14, it says, not given heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. You know, what's a commandment of men? Just like I said earlier, the Sabbath, the Sabbath. It yeah. falls on Saturday. Oh, it's on Sunday. No, that's that's Roman, that's paganism, that's heathenistic Edom uh, created by Esau. So what? That you'll slave Monday through Friday, and then on the weekend you'll you'll have your little church and you'll put on your suit and tie and all this foggyness. When the Lord said, no, don't do so. Go ahead. Yeah, that come like, um, I, I, I was, I gave that testimony before I was walking through the city and I saw this, I've been seeing them, guys in garment preaching, right? So I was in my work uniform. So I came up and I inquired. I said, hey, Shalom. I said, um, I have two questions for you. Say no problem. I said, um, what's the name of your power? He said, my power. He said, what do you mean? My God? I said, yeah. He said, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, wah. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, wah, yeah. I said, all right. And I said, uh, when did he Sabbath? He said, it was it was a Sunday. I was working on Sunday, so he said it was. He said, "Well, yesterday was the Sabbath. Friday evening, Sunday. Saturday evening, Sunday." Uh, he, I said, uh, "Every Friday evening, every Saturday evening." He said, "Yeah, every Friday, every Friday, and every Saturday is the Sabbath." I said, "All right." I said, "All right, thank you." And I said, and I proceeded to leave because I mean, I just know what spirit they're in. They're not in the spirit of Yahweh, but Shemiah was shy, right? They were, and the scriptures talk about your conscience being saved with a hot iron, right? So I could have I could have stood up there and argued with them, knowing that I, w- I was going to reach anyway. So when I was walking off, now he said, uh, let me ask you a question. When do you keep the Sabbath? I said, my Sabbath begins with the, with the first Sabbath of the month, beginning of the month. Whenever the new moon comes in, it's a new month, and I will initiate the starting of the first Sabbath of that month, and I will ro- rotate ever so often so he jumps up and, and confirmed what i had already conjured in my mind that that his conscience was already said to his doctrine right and he jumps up and says he says uh that's not scriptural prove that to me that's not scriptural you have you have you have no scripts you have no scriptures to prove you have something Barah. yeah go ahead you you like yeah, well, no, I don't know how to use this hangout thing, but um, you could do more in favor. Uh-huh. You could pull up something on Google so that everybody could see it. Yeah, what's that? Pull up whole scripture into line with Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Wow, whole scripture. <coughs> you know that the same link, link I sent you. I, w- I wouldn't be able to get the link here because oh, you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to put right. it up. No, no, no. I wouldn't get. I wouldn't get it from the link. Yeah, I had to pull it out from here. I'll look it up. Just type in whole scripture and then Google might actually finish it for you. Actually, you might actually see this link coming up. Whole scripture. Uh huh. Interlining and you didn't, you didn't see the finishing of like right, on yeah, the. Yes, um... yes, 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 yes. All right. See. Now, when you open it, you most likely might see, if it was the Sabbath, you might see New Moon. I know if you could put it up on the screen so that everybody could see. Right. It's supposed to be. Uh, you 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 all are seeing it now. Yeah. Right. The the Alpha and Tau Masonic um, coming for all mortals to repent and to fulfill this. Oh, Israelites, not mortals. <laughs> can't can't can't. Right. You see the markers up? Nah. You don't see go, to, go to Sabbath. You see to the very top. You see no, you um see, in, a, in, the in a blue box. Right, that's how. You see the page, right? Yeah, Shabbat, right there, right there at the top. All right, All right cool. No, I was, just, I was just making sure you could see the screen. Right? No, so, I'm not seeing it. You're not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. In the blue, in the blue, in the blue box. You seen Home Shalom Matthew 24. Yeah. Yeah, see the Right, the thing, they're going Sabbath. Yeah. So, read. Sabbath. You open right? it? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm going to go ahead and read. I'm going ahead and read, right? Yeah. It says Shabbat, Shabbat day. 
Exodus 20 and 8 to 11. Remember the Shabbat day keep to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Shabbat of your of your power, your um, your power. Right? So they put um, the text your grammar turn and then put Elohim, but you know it's Allah higher. In it you shall not do any work. You or your son or your daughter, your male and your female, the, your male or your female servant or your cattle to your sojourner who stays with you. For in six days Yahweh made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day. Therefore Yahweh blessed the, the Shabbat day. Right. But if you, go, if you go down now, right? If you go down, you'll see the calendar. And they will right. say the lunar Hebrew month looks yes. like this, which reading ah. from left and uh, right to left, they show the lunar month. Ah. Ah. They, sh- they show it as according to the moon. Ah. Mm. That's a cut. Ah. Straight cut. <laughs> yeah, and it's showing it according to the moon. Ah. Hey, can I bring out this definition of Gregorian calendar real quick? Go uh, ahead. Can. All right, the Gregorian, this is Wikipedia. The Gregorian calendar is internationally the most widely used civil calendar. And that's what? That's a form of what? Daniel 7 and 25? He shall seek to change the times and seasons. And wear out the saints. It says, it is named after Pope Gregory. I'm not too good with my Roman numerals, but it's X111, wherever that is. 13. 13. 13. 13. X is 10 and I every I is 1. All right, Pope Gregory XIII, and it says, who introduced it in October 1582. And you know, we was uh, uh, um, keeping the Sabbath way before 1582, man. Even in uh, the time uh, of AD and BC, man. So how was, uh, we, how was we keeping Sabbath on, on a day called Saturday or, or Friday? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it cuts and, up all that nonsense. Yeah, God. and that's easy, that's not easy cut because really and truly, as you said, before that day, right? Before that day, there, there was no, there were, those days wasn't, before the, that time, there wasn't those days written. Right? Actually, before the Greeks, there weren't those days. Because the Greeks who brought in um, Saturday, Sat- Saturday, Saturnalia, worship of Saturn or worship of Satan, um, Sunday, worship of the sun god, uh, yeah. Monday, the worship of the moon. Um, but what's in? They would have parallel. In the, in the previous in the previous kingdom, they would have par- parallel par- parallel worship of the deities, right? But the days wasn't called that, right? Because anytime records were showing the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day by number, not by name, right? Done. Hey, and the, the scriptures say, you know, don't judge anyone according to uh, uh, high holy days or sabbaths or, or or feast days, but it's the principle behind it. That's why the scriptures say what? Um, um, whoever shall teach men to keep the least of these commandments shall be called least in the kingdom, you know? Yeah. So that's what it's going into because people are pushing that doctrine. Of, oh, the Sabbath is on Friday, Saturday, but it's off. You know, just like some people are saying what? You know? And I'm going to say it how it is. Uh, uh, Adam Abbott, you know, rebuked him sharply, you know? Yeah. He says that the mark of the beast is what? Is Christianity. But it's not. It's an RFID chip, man. It's an RFID chip. I just had this real quick. Um, Sirach chapter 43, verse 5. Great is the Lord that made it at his commandment. Run it hastily. He made the moon also to serve in a season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is a sign of peace and a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing being an instrument of the armies above, right? So if we examine it closely, we need the moon to serve in a season for a declaration of times, going back to Genesis chapter 1, right? The, the lesser light is in, is in moon, and the greater light is the, is the sun, right? And it's for signs and seasons, right? From the moon is a sign of feast and a, and a light that decreases. So let's go back to that, that same, look, it's showing you right here. Look, it's showing you the moon. Right, this is full moon. This is a quarter. This is a new moon. Right, going back to the next quarter because they have it. Uh, I think it's called the first quarter. This might be the last quarter, and then come back to the full moon. Right, so let's go back to the scripture. It's still what a light that decreases in her perfection. So, what 
So something to be perfected, it has to be full, right? Uh. It has to be full. So what? It started off from what? The full moon, which is mid-month, right? And it's going to decrease. So, so this is not the first quarter. This is actually the last quarter. It's going to decrease from a perfection. So full moon, the last quarter, and then it's the new moon, right? So it's going to decrease from perfection, which is full, back to the new moon, which is 0% visibility. And then it's going to increase first quarter back into full moon, which is what? Perfection, right? So it says what? Great is the Lord. Um, sorry. He made the moon to serve in a season, a declaration of time, a sign of the world. From the moon is a sign of peace, a light that decreases from her perfection. The month. So the word moon means month, right? So anything besides what besides the moon calendar is not a calendar, or is not a month actually. It's not. A, it's not truly a month because a month actually comes from the moon, the moon cycle. Her name increasing wonderfully in her changing. So it, it increases wonderfully to change. It's changing back to what his perfection, which is which is being full. An instrument of the armies above shining in the firmament of heaven. Right? So that was just a point I wanted to bring out real quick. Come back to you. Come, come. Hey, I, I got a point real quick to make too, because it's heavy. You know? Because it should say what? Our righteousness is as filthy rags. You know, and where are we? We're the watchmen of our nation. And we're That's watching right. for that sword coming in a form of pestilence, plagues, Esau primarily, you know, his, his uh, uh, army troops and tank. But um, this is Matthew 24 and verse 20 says, But pray, yea, that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Huh. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now, when you go into, what is it, Ezekiel 33, uh, 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 when he talks about the watchman, if, if he sees the sword coming and he doesn't warn the people, then his blood shall be upon his own head. Uh -huh. You see, so we're, we're here to tell people, like, hey, at any moment now, it's about to go down. And, and, it, and if we see that, the Lord said, what? Pray it be neither on the Sabbath day. That's a, that's a sign of saying, hey, you know, just like the Maccabee brothers, what was they doing? They was having to go to war on the Sabbath day. Huh. To save the, to preserve the seed of Israel, yeah. Because if they had, if they had just submit, submit, they would have Israel would be wiped out, right? Can't. You see that? You see that is, that is the balance of the scripture because the scripture say um, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for yeah. the Sabbath. So you, Oof, hey, if you, yeah, you can worship the Sabbath and you just worshiping the Sabbath day, but not understanding that it's just a balance. The Sabbath was made for you to rest, Can't. rest from all work, and when you rest, you actually put the spirit of your Hawa at rest. Because God. he is the spark in you. And why he said, not to light fire on that day. Because they're exhausting the spirit. You understand? At least in my humble opinion. <laughs> Everything is a balance of the heavenly father. No size is <laughs> <laughs> um, Second is just 15 and 1. Behold, I speak. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Pen of the imagination of against thee, let the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So you have many unbelieving, even within us, within within the organization, right? But we we organize under the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You have some people that are in here that believe that they are of the spirit, but they're not. Right? So like the brother on the comment board, um some mark a mark said and uh, so to, yeah, Matthew 25 and 32 and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another and as the shepherd divided the sheep from the goats right and he says uh, look at now Rufus leaks tells about the abused children stories from Australia's children concentration camp this was posted in 2016 right so we, we, we could examine that too right but the, the point I was getting at is that uh, yeah, that we have brothers that are monks, us, that are spies, that are informants, that are Judases. I'm going to take the Judas first. Um, I can remember that dream you had, uh, Makaza. Uh, I think one? it was uh, the one with the, with the two brothers uh, that, that were being tortured and being cut across their stomach. And they, yeah, they, they're so loud. Yeah, they're so loud. They're so loud. You know? So, 
in due time, the, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, gonna reveal all truth. Who, who are His chosen? Yeah. They shall be trying like gold and fire. Start to go ahead, Mikasa. Yeah, the scripture said, um, brother shall be tree one and unto death. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got, I got that precept I, I want to get. What? Ezekiel 33 and 6. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, how are we blowing the trumpet? We're speaking. We're not just out there blowing trumpet. No. We're warning people, get that, get right, repent. The king's at hand. You're going to die if you don't repent. You know? And that's the trumpet going out. That's the trumpet we blow when we go out there in the highways and byways to the, to the, to the battle fronts. It says, and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Huh. So yeah, so again. yeah, Paul Paul himself said that. He said, um, my hands are clean of every man's blood, for I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole doctrine. Right. Huh. So like these are the camps who want to teach that the um the the, the mark of the beast is embargo or Christianity. They keep they holding back the doctrine. They don't say we don't need the name of the Mosai now. They 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 holding back the doctrine. So they have men's blood on their hand. They they hand in clean from all men's blood. That's why um at this first it's Peter three fifteen it says be always ready to give answer. So you have, you have to always give answer. Don't hold back your answer. Don't hold back your sword from blood. Done. Yeah, the brother um, Shamaka Mat had put um, first Peter four and eighteen, and if the righteous case if be saved, where shall the um, godly and the sinner appear? Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the um, friends. So are we going way back when brother by I'm gonna say now, uh, you know they will come and they will say yeah, shalom, Marta, or good job or whatever. You know, we, we know they're looking for cheerleaders, right? We glory, we glory, we just glory in the fact that the Abba Shimmy Shai woke us up to the truth, right? And we have a chance at repentance, you know? God. Because when you examine, when you examine, it was a bitter and it's sweet. It's bitter and it's sweet. It's, it's like honey, but then you're going to be tried. You're going to be tried by the Spirit to see if you really believe. And, one, and the, the nice thing about the, the, the knowledge that we have, when you look at the word um, faithful, because the Shai say, ah, is there any faith in the land when you return? If if you're gonna find faith in the land, and the word faith means to be trustworthy, right? When you look up that that faith or or, or faithful, uh, you see, it, it goes back into the word being trustworthy. So to be trustworthy, he gave us a commandment to go out and preach and to teach. I mean, everything is for a season and for a time. Now was it not the time for uh, love making? Now is not the time for now is not the time for family. That family time is what is is, is a time of peace. But hey, you know you're gonna get all them women. I think it's gonna be a spoiler of war. We're gonna have to gather. We're gonna get war. We're gonna get. What's in this? Cause this is part of the war too. We fighting that that heavy spiritual battle now, right? But then the most are gonna give us that spiritual power. And these women, we don't. Even, we won't even have to. As like I said, I don't even wanna waste the time to be. You know, like the cat calling and you know you're pulling pulling at. at it don't make sense. These women and them, they're gonna to come to you. They literally gonna come flock into us. That's what the scripture said. And if you believe in the scripture, they're gonna, they, you know, they're gonna be a spoiler of what they're gonna yeah, seek. Like, yeah. said to be even as I am. Yeah, you know, they're gonna be a spoiler. Oh, they're gonna come. To, yeah, he didn't have a wife, so right now he's just a dedicated and buckle down. Um, I, I mean, what I was, I was saying on the high, we stand by. We the other day as like even understanding that like, um. Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, says um, wisdom and knowledge shall be a stability at that time. When they watch at Stephen, or Stephen, when he's being stoned to death, the, the speech that he gave, he went through the wisdom and knowledge of the forefathers coming all the way down. Right? It, um, um, he, uh, he is one that stands out. I know there would have been other men that went back into the history and bring the history down when they was being persecuted. And this is what we need to do because that history is a strength. Right? Because the scripture describes Stephen looking up. He was looking up. And he says he was seeing the glorious kingdom. Right? He described it before he before he went to the spirit realm. So his heart was there. And the scripture said what? 
if it if it treasures be on earth, you know, don't 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 have a treasure on earth when when moth and 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 and, and where where it can be corrupted now. Corrupt. You understand? Corrupt. But have it have a treasure in heaven. So his treasure was clearly in heaven. And then what Paul was educating too. You know? So once we once we're doing what we had to do, we'll be diligent in the world, putting out the works, and hey, the blood gonna be washed off our hands. Right? Uh, These people don't understand that we are there. We actually oh they're cleansing ourselves of their blood. But they is is whether you all here or whether you all forbear. That's what he said. That's what the scripture says. That say the Lord. Whether they hear or whether they forbear. But we sincerely oh, they're doing you the work. Yeah, how about Shimmy You know, and within saying that, you know what, one thing, throughout the years mm-hmm. that I've been in you, all these muckers and scoffers, especially the ones that fall out from being in the camps, none of them, none of them ever enjoy. In terms of, even in scoffing, they just fall off. Typical example, mm-hmm. one of the greatest example was Isaac. Isaac. You know, he came out hot and sweaty, separated himself. He was what the Haitian, the Haitian rebel or the Haitian priest. And where where is his page you now? What he's doing now? He's off. He fall off. The most I take away that oil. He have no oil. His fire out. You know. Anybody can go ahead. I check any comment more in the meantime. Yeah, now you tell you this. Can take judgment prepared for the corner? Huh? You understand? So, can't, can't, yes, that's the day they could continue to <laughs> and cope as much as they were. It's only one, yeah. one end they can get. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be quick. What for the truth? Huh. All publicity is good publicity. It says, um, second Ezra chapter 15 was. Hey, and start. If I might say this, um, well, what do the scriptures say? Uh, let me see if I. Just real quick, just before that, um, I already pointed change. Slack. Um, I'll just read this real quick. Hey, shit, I can't even find it. But basically, what Yahweh Shai was saying, it backing up with, with John when he said, um, If I had not come, you would have had a cloak for your sin. Oh, no cloak for your sin. No cloak. Right? But, but basically, what they were saying is that he's saying, um, Because you know, because you say you know, you know, um, oh, shit. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Ah, I find it. It says John, John chapter nine. John chapter nine, I start at verse thirty-nine. It says, "Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I am coming to this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind." And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, "Are we blind also?" And these like the scoffers and the scoff and the mockers. Yeah. All right. They, they, when they come against us, is is as though they saying they're not blind. Can can they pro? Ex- they yeah, pro. Exactly. And I always have to say, pride coming before destruction because you you confident that you know what you know. Exactly. You understand? You understand? Verse forty one. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If ye were blind, ye would have no sin. But now ye say we see, therefore your sin remaineth. Yeah. So he said. Because yeah, the Most High, He blinded the people. That what the prophecy said. He blinded the majority of Israel. Right? It's only one third that Israel could see. Right? Um, but now the Pharisees now they claim to be um, how how to say, proficient in the law. But guess but guess what? And you're proud. You're saying that you, that, that 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 you know. But they have a saying that they say in Trinidad, you know not that you know not that you knows not. Right? Mm-hmm. You don't know. Right? And that's most high gonna laugh at your calamity when your fear comes as you will win as your chariot. So guess yeah. what? The Kreplo does the talking and shit but how um uh, when you say talking about Satan and um and hell and fire and you know you're talking all that all that bullshit, eh? all that all that what you're doing there upon that pulpit. Them people paying paying you billions of dollars 
to be condemned, to be put to death. That is literally they paying you for you to, to, to set their souls right. So that a guillotine can come down on the neck. Or the most side destroy them with a uh, ICBM or from the lasers or the chariots. That's what they're paying for. But whereas wisdom crying without on any street, which is these men on the highways and byways across the four corners of the earth coming in all humility and breaking it down. Hey, this is what the word of the Lord means. Salvation is only for Israel. And they, they, they're going to take that doctrine. You be bringing all this sweetness to them. And they're going to look for the simplest thing to make it a stumbling block. And ultimately, as the scripture says, Yahweh Shai is going to be the rock of offense. Because he's the word, he's the word and he's the spirit of truth. He's going to be the rock of offense. They're going to make Mary, Mary having sex a stumbling block. They're going to make God loving everybody a stumbling block on all these different things. But ultimately, the most high, you're, you're not blind. But you're wise in your own conceit. And because you're wise in your own conceit, you're going to be judged. That's it. That's it. Tobacco Mark has a good. This is John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. They had not. They had not had sinned. But now they have no cloak. For their sin. Yes. So all them focus on them, they have no cloak for the sin. Because to mock, you have to be, um, be within the, 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 the thought that you know something. Because when you're mocking, it's because you're coming against the word. So in your mind, you're saying that, yeah, I know the word, so i coming against what you're saying. Because if you didn't know, then it'll just keep your mouth hushed. But because they come against you, they're saying that, hey, I know. And what you're saying is bullshit. So basically, they're coming against the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that's why they're going to be destroyed. Ah. I got a um, piece up to back that all up. Done. Uh, a couple. This is first, first, uh, two piece up. This is John 3 and 19. It says, and this is a condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And then um, Matthew 23, we'll start verse 1. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not yea after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their philosophies and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. You know, and, gets, he's, and then Yahweh Shai just, just goes in on them, you know, and you keep reading down. But basically, they want praise of men by the praise of the Most High. But what do we want? We want the praise of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Philippians 1 and 21 says what? One preaches Hamashiach of contention and strife, and the other one of love and sincerity and truth. Philippians 1 and 21. You know? Yeah. And this is um, Ephesians chapter 4, 17 and 18. This I say, therefore, and testify in Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, he henceforth walk not as the Gentiles will walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of Yahweh through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Right? So, um, for example, these these, Christ, these Christians and people in these different philosophies and doctrines, right? They, they understand and darken. They don't have the light, right? So they believe that getting up and, and, and um, for example, the Jehovah Witness and walking down the place and, you know, watchtowers and, uh, and the next book, I can't remember the next book, you know? So I uh, know them books. They believe that that is the work of the Lord. That is not the work of the Lord because they're not bringing um, no form of edification. On the, big, in the in, on the front cover of them books is what uh, either might have on. We live in a either might have. There's just a, a, a advertisement for, for the 
continuation about Edom might have one, which is not going to happen. What's going to happen is judgment is going to come to Edom, their Elysium, their kingdom, which is this, this place that we enjoy in, because they enjoy the benefits of this place. We are we, we labor and we sleep in. We don't have peace. We, we forever on the plantation. We always on the clock. Right? We, we on borrowed, borrowed time. Right? They understand that being dark and being alienated from the life of the Most High. Right? They're not in the life of your Abba Shemiah Shai. They don't have the peace that even, even amongst us true brethren, right? The peace that we have of mind. Because you know how you know that? Because when you sit down amongst the congregation of these churches, we're here. When you sit down amongst the congregation, you're going to hear our um, sister Mary say, Watch, watch, watch this, Sir Janet. Janet's coming in that same just four months, boy. Where are you? to see, boy. You understand? That is, that, that is the life that they live. I work, I, I, I can testify, I work in an office, right? I work in an office, a small, a small cubicle, right? I used to do bills. I used to send out 12,000 letters, bills, for the company. I used to fold them, stuff them in the envelope, and stick them, 12,000 a day. I was doing that with five women. Five women. Two of them women was Jehovah's Witnesses. One was a Catholic and one was a confused Catholic wanted to be a Jehovah's Witness. Right? A few of them were married. And if you hear these people, if you hear these, these demons, right? About gossip, and they were hating them, they were smiling at one another face right there. And if you walk out the corridor with one, they talk about the next one right there. And this deal here, this place, and what all of them bound by some form of philosophy, some Christianity, or some form of doctrine. You understand? But there's no peace. The scriptures talk about the um, the, uh, the spirit being, the, at least the spirit of your house, but Shimei Shai, the fruits of that spirit being what peace. They don't have peace. We have peace because we're true to one another. Right? They're not truthful to one another. They're hypocritical. And the scriptures in Job uh, 15, verse 34 and 35 says what? The tabernacle of um, hypocrites uh, shall be destroyed with fire. Uh, you know? They haven't been given that sound mind. They've been given that 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 crazy mind. One one day they they they're married to their husband. The next day they're twerking at the club, getting ran trained upon. It's it's crazy. Uh, uh. Hey, I got I got a piece of, you know, it, it ties it all in with the confusion of faces. You know, uh. this is um it's Ezekiel the 18th chapter. You know, the whole thing's bad, but uh, I'll just get to the point. It says. Verse 19, it says, yet say, uh, yeah, it says, yet say, yea, why doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father? When the son hath done that which is lawful and right, and hath kept all my statutes and, and hath done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Oh. You know, so it's pretty much going into saying like, hey, man, everyone, ha you know, that's why I said, like, what? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Oh. You know, everyone's going to get their own reward, own just reward, whether it be good or whether it be evil, man. And the Lord is, is the judge himself. But guess what? The Lord, he's raised up 144,000 men with that sound mind, the Holy Spirit, that are going to be judges underneath the governing body. You know? Yeah. Um, so like, before we go too far, we got, um, the brother, um, Shamak, Amak, 10 Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, who is in we and we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh, Shemir, or Shai, the prophet. It shall not return unto me void, it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it. So you see? His sheep hear his voice. This whole thing is about uh, about getting the wisdom, or all the getting, getting the understanding. Also, his sheep hear his voice. It's not gonna go boy because the men of the Lord, the, the elect, they're gonna do what they're what supposed to do. Nevertheless, right. you uh, Anybody have anything? No, no, nothing. All right. So you close off until the next video then. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Is that? Is that? So we Abarat. give what is this to your hour by Sham by Sham Kakodash the apostles and our elders, salutations to the brothers that preach and teach his words sincerely.
in sincerity and in truth, shall I want to all your, all your um, acting on the comment board, peace and blessings to you and your families, right? Um, pray your, your how about you, shall I give you all the strength to enjoy, us all the strength to enjoy until the end, until we meet again, yeah, the King James Holy Bible, <laughs> as the strength, as the confidence that we have, the truth, right? Um, Shalom, Brother Baram, we hope to see you down here real, real oh. soon. Right? You kick up your big bread. Yeah. You, you I'm going to have to fight sleep. my way down there, boy. Turn, turn. I'm going to get to my flight, put it back. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to kill me on the flight. Yeah, can't, can't. Yeah, we get them. I fight when they come down to you. You, you know, we're going to get them wrong after wrong after wrong. You know? How good it is when Bridget is going to take an NPC and unity. And the unity that we have is the scriptures, this word, this truth. This, 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 this is hope. This is hope. Nothing better to do than fuel our hope, you know? Okay? And hey, shout out to brother. Um, brother Pasha. Pasha, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. You have to plant it, yeah. You know? Yeah, I got to go plantation right now, too. I got a clean house. Got to go go buy something. Yeah. Got to go, go, go plantation. See? Um, and, and today is the Sabbath. We, and all you would like to do is give give your worship, your shy praise all day. You know? Yeah. So hey, we hear sunny day that this place for long. Um how you you, you give it you give it um you have a Malak La Baba. Yeah, my wife. Yeah, my wife. Oh, oh, my wife. Oh, la bala. <laughs> yeah. All right, shalom. So what I ask you money coming board again. Shalom. So I'm not by asking that would have come yesterday. Come yesterday.